to the Gamegasm Podcast. We put the O in radio. 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 Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the show. My name is Jeremy. Do my own thing because I let my nuts hang. It's O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I like dicks. <laughs> it's Andrew. It's actually, it's actually me this time, guys. I don't like dicks, but. Uh, so what's up, buddy? My own dick. You feeling good? I'm better I like than I your was. own dick, too. It's pretty good. <laughs> I know, actually, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, yeah. Last week, just. A little under the weather, more so than I thought I was. I just like was working and it was terrible. He had a heart attack. I actually I actually died. I had to be resuscitated. That's why I didn't show up. Dick mouth. So, God himself. Dick mouth. God is like, you know, go back to the podcast. I was like, I can't go. Uh, God suck your dick. I mean, Whoa, wait a minute. What? God's not gonna suck my dick. What that'd happened? Be, that'd be really I blacked awful. out for a second. Man, that'd be, would that be would that be bad? Suck God's dick? Well, that's a different story. I thought you said God was gonna suck his dick. Oh no. I mean, I feel like you die in both scenarios. You have too think, much power. If you can't hear the voice of God, I imagine his jizz is going to be like a fucking bazooka in He's going to blow you across the I feel universe. like this isn't getting any of us into heaven, by the way. <laughs> no, this is all bad. This I'm is all bad. I'm going to point out, this is the second episode in a row where we've talked nothing about dicks for like the first few seconds. You weren't here for the other one. I wasn't here. But when you're back, it did not change. No. Because he was like, we need Andrew because this just went downhill. Yeah, I was like, we and need somebody to help us. Yeah, because I'm obviously <laughs> the moral compass of the fucking group. Yeah, you're here. like, wait a minute. Too much penis. Yeah, there's just, uh, guys, slow down. Let's start. Let's stop talking about the dicks. Uh, less talking, more sucking. Mm. Mm. My my philosophy on life. Yeah. Uh. So a uh, little intro or little intro, little uh info on the podcast. Uh, we're still gonna skip the link to the last game unless you guys come up with some cool ideas. We're gonna actually maybe brainstorm this coming week uh, before the recording of the next podcast, and we'll try to come up with something. Uh, but that's really it. Yeah, that's all I had. I just wanted to spout that out so you guys. So you guys know you guys aren't looking forward to the fucking link to the last game. Like, and yeah, it's fuck not yeah, there. And it's not there. So, yeah. uh, it's so not we'll be there. crush your dreams early. Just turn it off. We know you don't want to listen anymore. We're, we're just not happy with it right now, and I think that's something that I think if we're not happy with it, you guys aren't going to be as happy with it. So, I mean, I think, a lot of people are still okay with it, but we're still trying to figure out the perfect solution. And that's what that was my which is difficult. Yeah, and that's that was my problem is that to you guys it still sounds good because it's post production and I edit a lot of the crap out that we've. You know, we go back and forth for 20 minutes, and we're like, this is fucking stupid. Like nearly our whole show. You yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are we not down to, like, four seconds of a show? <laughs> hey, guy. End. Uh, mailbag? You got stuff? No. I, I, I believe it's wrong right. to do the mailbag. We'll see you guys later. No, Peace. I got, got, as always, three questions. <laughs> yeah. First off, we're going to talk with High Tech Snake. Ooh, High Tech oh, snake. snake. Yeah, his Snake is very, not low tech. He's not analog. No. He's digital and shit. Yeah. Pretty good question. Uh, What do you think about Metal Gear Solid? going sandbox RPG-ish versus it being normally a linear game. So I'm guessing that High Tech Snake is from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. I would imagine that's where you guys name from. I didn't put two There used to be some other High Tech, Ghost. High Tech Ghost, whatever. He's like, refer to me as this High Tech, eh, yeah. whatever. <laughs> I just picked one. He is picky about that. I don't know why. He's always like, oh, don't call me Ghost, just call me High Tech. You know what? Since snake, I see whatever. Twitter and other things, I'm going to start calling by his first name after that. I'm yeah. sorry, High Tech, so don't even put your name on it. You're Can going by your first name. Your name may no. be, I don't know if you're, <laughs> drink, your name could be Arthur. I don't care. But his question is a really good one. I think it's interesting. He, but he's like, what do, what do we like? Do we like it or not like it? I, honestly, I'm going to come out here and out myself. I didn't play much Metal Gear at all. I played very, very little Metal Gear. So, of course, to me, I'm going to say, you don't care. fuck yeah, RPG, sandbox, do it. Because right. reasons. But I don't want to hurt the integrity of the game if, it's, if that is kind of how the game's been. If they did a spinoff, I think that'd be useful. It's well, been linear its whole it's, time. From the yeah. and the grand, I I don't think it's like uh, linear in the in the sense of it is direct like Ninja Gaiden. Like and I my first experience with Metal Gear, I actually had the original on Nintendo. That's probably the one I played more than any of them. That was a fucking hard game. Oh my god, it was so fucking brutal. That was a ridiculous game. I mean, for the internet, so yeah. you really had to just keep trying. You're keep like trying, keep cool, trying. Cool, I got cigarettes. Yeah, and how many times <laughs> this guy got to smoke before he's gonna take a break so I can move? You know, there's no box to hide on. Yeah, there. I guess I. I personally don't yeah. like it. I, I don't. It's that's not what it's about. I feel like it's a way for them to cash in and get people. That's what I feel like it is. If they're doing that, then cool. But they also, for the sake of uh, argument, they could be doing it to try to better the series. Sure. Maybe they thought, okay, the same fucking thing over and over again is kind of old. Um, you now, know, is, is, are they doing this? Is this something they're they're actually doing, or is he saying hypothetically? Because I may have missed no. Something. They're they're going this route. They're going oh. to more of a sandbox kind of environment. And if you think about it, like the one on PlayStation, it, was, it wasn't it was sandbox. None of them have ever been sandbox. No. But you had a little more freedom. You could roam and you could find things. The thing that I liked about Metal Gear Solid is that it's in, in its original, in its, original, in its originality or in its original. original form, it was 
pretty creative. It was pretty innovative, especially the PlayStation version. Sure. You had all kinds of crazy shit. You had a mind reader that would you had to fight, and you had to actually pull your unplug your controller and plug it into controller port two, so they couldn't read your mind. Oh, that's fun. Cool. Yeah, tell me about that. The yeah. bo- the boss fights were all really cool. Yeah, and then they had you like one part. They had you wandering around looking for a CD case that had a code on the back of it. Well, the code was on the actual back of the physical CD case the game That's came in. That's fucking cool. So they're just doing different shit like that, and that was really fucking neat. If they can continue that innovation and that, that coolness, I guess, into a sandbox, I don't see a problem with it. So it doesn't become I like f- a Grand Theft Auto I feel like they might be off. trying to ride the Skyrim wave. That's exactly bit. what it is. Yeah. It, it is I, I don't see how it's not a way for them to try to attract a new audience. Which you yeah. can say it's a good thing, and I agree. It could it's still be a great for series. It's still be a great game. If you want to do that, and you're Konami, and you have money, then you know what you do? You make another fucking game. Right. You leave make Metal a Gear spin-off. Solid. Yeah, a spinoff. But keep what keeps Metal Gear Solid special, keep right. it in the same vein. You know, that's how, I guess that's how I feel. Make it Metal played. Gear Liquid. Yeah, yeah, it want to be solid. <laughs> make it Metal Gear Gaseous. Gaseous, <laughs> Gaseous Snake or something. <laughs> <laughs> Me and old guy walking around farting all the time. And that guy's got to be like, like fucking 80 game. now. Yeah. It's oh, time. God, yeah. He's old as dirt. He yeah. looked old in the last one. Like, Son's yeah. Liberty, I'm like, he was more like maybe grandchildren of Liberty, yeah. you know? Grandfathers <laughs> of Liberty. Looked, he looked pretty fucking old. He was like, Snake! <laughs> well, my fucking emphysema. <laughs> my hip. Uh. <laughs> my hip. God damn it. So, uh. I don't... I think we're kind of open either way, but I kind of... I'm okay with the series if they want to try new things, but I kind of agree with O'Brien that if you're going to do that... Don't, maybe, don't ruin it, whatever you do. Yeah, yeah, maybe... Maybe save yourself the hassle of ruining your series by naming it something different. Yeah, why and you not can even have Snake in it? And if or you're going peripheral for... character or something, yeah. and if you're going profitability, two games that sell well are better than one that sells well. Sure, because at the end of the day, you're trying to say, "Oh, it's sandbox, so everybody's going to play it." No, they're not. If they didn't like Metal Gear Solid, they're... not that many people are going to give it a chance because of that. But that's probably what you're doing because. And I just get the feeling it's going to be very Skyrim-esque or GTA-esque where you're going to go around and do what you want. It's going to be more about getting quest or whatever yeah, than what's the it game gonna, itself. Is it quest-based? I mean, what I, you know, I just, I don't, it doesn't fit the game. And Metal Gear Solid's very much more about the, the completion of the levels, the experience, the puzzles, the challenge. Boss fights. Yes, it's not about figuring out how to do things. Yes, it's, it's what the soul of the game is. Yeah. So. yeah. Good It'd question, like if they took like a Sam Fisher game and they were like, okay, now you're... It's a fighting game. Now you're playing football. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, you still use your gun. Yeah. I think he's going to win a lot of football. It's Splinter Cell 2014. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't we have changed. dates anymore. Do you know that? I haven't played Madden in so long. I saw online, it was like Madden 25. Well, yeah, because now like, they're doing like, oh, like the 25th anniversaries of mm-hmm. yeah. you know some guy getting hurt or dying or something. And then, <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Okay, next one we got. Skull King. Skull King again. Yeah. Wow. I'm giving him a shout. He asked like a ton of questions. I gotta give Stop him a shout Stop fucking out. asking questions, Skull no, King. No, dude, he kidding. asked everyone is good. Like, That's not good. to pander to him, but like, he's like the rocking question you guy. You need to model your questions after Skull King. After Skull King, King pretty what much. What you do is you wait for his questions in the, the comments, and then you ask them again, and then, yeah. we'll, then we'll pick you. Because yeah. His yeah. Questions and he gave us locale. After yeah. we talked about that last week, how I like the locale. He's from Florida. All right. So enjoy warm weather, you Mesmerized dick. from Florida. Uh, well, apparently they uh, got snow, like, today good. or something. I know. Fucking not at all, all of Florida. I don't. I, I don't know. I didn't like look at yeah. the weather map. But sometimes, like someone said on my route, they're fucking like, crazy. "Fucking Florida's got snow." So mm. right, fuck off, Skull King. How many inches? Like a quarter? <laughs> <laughs> like six is what I heard. But, but I, six I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If it, I don't know. If Holy that's legit. shit! Someone just said Florida got like six inches of snow. I'm like oh, oh. I, and they were just some random number. But that's crazy. I, if it's I don't, true. It, it might not be true. But it's still not. Maybe, maybe Snow the rapper four. got half his penis cut off. <laughs> twelve inches. <laughs> twelve inches of snow. Oh, informer. Uh, 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 diggy boom boom yeah. <laughs> We don't anything but diggy boom boom now. Yeah. Fucking dudes from New Jersey. Um, okay. <laughs> Do we feel multiplayer is wasted on a single player based game if it's like completely like it's a single base experience? And use an example like Last of Us or Assassin's Creed. I mean, not wasted as much as they're just forcing multiplayer on it. Absolutely. Is it necessary? Thing. It's not necessary. Agreed. They're forcing it. Yeah. No, if you've got a good single-player game, leave it a good single-player game. You know, like, uh, games that... See, what pisses me off more than I know, forcing I know, multiplayer I know I, is exactly. games that fucking should be multiplayer, and they're not. I agree. That's exactly what I was going to say. There's no reason that sh- certain games that have the perfect world for multiplayer aren't. Like, we talk about Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, you can come out and play with your friends if they want to play four different Xboxes and all hook up to the same internet. Right. You can play the same console. Sure. Why? 
Because they can't have your loadout. Who cares? I don't fucking care. I want to play with my field. friends. You can't play 2v1 Battlefield. That's fucking stupid. Or a game that should have it, Skyrim. Yeah. yeah. Why or does, ga why, any game it, like that. Why, why do you not have... Give me two players. All I want is two. All I want is two. I want to experience it with a buddy. Because how awesome would it be for me and you, or I mean, any of us, to sit there and play fucking Sky? I would, I would go back and play Skyrim again with you. Oh I'd yeah, probably dude. still have a series running on my channel if it allowed for two people to play in the oh, same it'd be, room. It'd be a blast. Yeah, you know, because you could, you could really it's like you could be a healer, or I could be a, a mage, and you a warrior, or whatever. We could have a, a good time doing yeah, that. Absolutely. And, and I think it is, especially with Skyrim in their situation, it'd be easy for them to scale because of how they already scaled stupid damage anyway. Why not just fucking scale it more? Like, you remember that Baldur's Gate game? The, like, dungeon crawler. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that called? It was uh, on PlayStation 2. Uh, Dark Alliance. Yeah, Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance. That game was fucking fun. Oh, dude, yeah. play the shit out of Replayability. Oh, you could yeah. play over and over, keep getting better gear, and, actually, and you I mean, played right next to each other. And it was it was it was generic. I mean, there was there was no storyline really to speak of. But I mean, I it don't was, care. It was, it was a well, Champions of Norath. Champions of Norath. That's what we played. The EverQuest uh, uh, spinoff there. Another I remember playing that one. Yeah, 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 that was a lot of fun, and that's all it was. All, it wasn't anything that you had to go. Oh my god, this is the best game ever. But it was what well, you said down with friend, and you said, "Fuck yeah, we're just gonna kill shit." So. What, what, to answer this to question, get back to yeah. this question, <laughs> I think we're all in agreement that I personally like for a game like. Uh, like Bioshock or anything that's really story driven, it's a first person kind of experience. I don't don't just give me multiple don't give me a shitty death match because I don't want it. No. I'm not gonna play it. Nobody cares about it. You're no. just doing it to say, oh yeah, we do have multiplayer. Yeah, it's multiplayer. Yeah, at the end, at the on the box, in the back is yeah. sports one to four players or whatever. You have a tiny no. sticker. That's all you did it for. And Fable, what was that? I agree. It's a gr I love Fable. I like that multiplayer was uh, shit. Well, Peter Molyneux, a great designer. I like him, but he's more of a creative guy. He's like, I, I, it's going to do this and this and this and this and this. And then all of a sudden, you do the game, and you're like, well, you hit three out of ten things you wanted to do. Right. Which is still really cool, but... It's, you, it's good if you're a, a hitter in baseball. You hit yeah, 300, yeah. you're yeah, pretty yeah, damn good. You're going to all-star yeah. game. But for video game promises, you kind of look like a douche. And yeah. in this case, you're like, oh, we're going to have this amazing multiplayer. And it's like we can't really do that, Peter. Uh, fuck. Just, just <laughs> slap some multiplayer. multiplayer. Yeah. You're a, you're a random soul thing that dropped in, and you, uh, you get a generic person. Go. And they can kill everything you have. Yeah, yeah. They can kill you. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. So we 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 don't like it. Agreed. Well, I mean, just don't do anything. If you're, if you're gonna do something, they don't half ass it. I mean, yeah, we want to see multiplayer. If, if if there's a game that should have multiplayer, or you build it from the ground up with multiplayer, great, fuck yeah. But if your game is a single player experience, don't don't do it. Yeah, I it's mean, not a prerequisite. Who cares? No, I know everybody looks at the internet. We need to have online multiplayer, like Call of Duty, because you look at Call of Duty. Call of Duty, who cares about the main fucking mission? I mean, I yeah. always play it because it's not a bad story. I actually think it's kind of decent. But it I just really, play it for the achievements. What people play it for is to play online. Sure. Not every game has to be that. No. You know, it's cool to have just a great story and a great experience and, and be happy with that. What was know? that game, that RPG, that uh, was it an EA RPG, had like a K in the title or something like that? Or Cameo? No, you know what I'm talking about. The, was it the recent one that I, that I played over? Like a year ago um, for Xbox 360. I know you're talking about. Yeah, 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 Kingdom, Kingdom Zamalar. Zamalar. Yeah, the, it wasn't EA, it was uh, 3A Studios. Yeah, which is no longer. What, who was it? 3A Studios, oh, which okay. is made Kirk, that game. Well, it's Kirk Chilling's. Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, but anyway, that was originally supposed to be a multiplayer based game, and then they kind of changed it. Yeah. So it grossly felt like this should be multiplayer. Yeah, you, I think originally it was, it was like, supposed to be an MMO. Like, they, yeah, in, they were going to. They actually were going to do. That game was supposed to be kind of the first game in their. Their attempt to go uh, make an MMO, and that was going to be part of the world. You're going to actually be able to use, see that world of the game in the actual MMO, and it was going to be this real immersive thing. And then they, you run out of money, it's yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah, they got all these big loans from the state of Rhode Island where they actually went in. Like all the, they gave them all these kind of tax breaks and all these things because they created jobs in Rhode Island. And oh yeah, we need like forty million dollars from you. Uh, yeah, I got like, I got, I got like thirty, forty bucks. I got on like four D. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah, and then it was a big, big deal. You Which, always got you know, D for people. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, good question. We all say yes. yes. Or whatever we say. No. We yeah. say whatever we say. We all say. answer how you think we should. Exactly. <laughs> so, next one, we got Danny's Corner, which, by the way, he did comment. And there's, just to let you know, Danny, there's been no communication from Bent Napkins. Bent Napkins, you're no longer the winner. Fuck you, Bent Danny's Napkins. Corner is the winner. Get Bent. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Fuck your terrible. napkin. I'm gonna Fuck your napkin. So, Danny's Corner is our new winner. Danny, uh, we have your email. Uh, we will get in touch with you. Also, oh, we'll so he's in there emailing you like, like hey, no, is actually, there, he hasn't there, bothered me. There? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is, yeah, this is the first one he asked the question. He asked, he's like, hey, is anything from Benton Napkins? And no. So fuck that That's guy. Right. You win. All 
right. Fuck and you had a good Duncan's. name anyways. So, you know, good game. Here's a little two-part question. Uh, any gr- great soundtracks of games? And when he means great, like greatly good or greatly bad, that come soundtracks. to mind. Great soundtracks. And if any of them, like, say, for example, been so good that it maybe makes up for some lack of, you know, negatives in the game, or so bad that it just makes you want to kill yourself despite the game being pretty good. I think you're more likely to get something that's so bad it would ruin it rather than a soundtrack that's so good it will make the game better. I see. I think of a game soundtrack like it's really like uh, there's certain this doesn't sound weird. Certain strategy games like uh, honestly medieval warfare medieval warfare one like as soon as I start playing that music I just I'm in it or yeah. Europa Universe three like I actually have that soundtrack and it's like I'm in the game I feel it. I'm in the mode I need that music. Sid did a good job of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. But would that be a soundtrack? Is he talking about actual music? Well, from a game, an actual music a soundtrack for a game. That's a soundtrack. As soon as you said soundtrack, I thought of Road Rash 3D. Okay. And unless it has to Tony be Hawk bands. Pro Skater I, 2. I think when I think more... of soundtrack, I think of a movie soundtrack. It's got bands on it, you know. But yeah, uh, if if music is shitty, I think it takes away from the game. If music is great, I still don't feel like it makes the game better, though. You know what I mean? I don't think you can make up for a bad game with good music, but you can ruin a good game with bad music. I'll go. I'll give you that. I, I do think that like having good music in a game is it. It, it I agree. It doesn't necessarily make a, a good game um, any better, and or it doesn't make a bad game good. But it will say whenever you have a good game already and you've got great music in there, it, oh, yeah. it, it puts you just in the middle of everything. It's immersive. It heightens it. I mean, like you know, even like the Elder Scrolls games. Like when you start up the game, you've got you know the scribal. <gasps> Or like oh. some sort of tribal music, and it's just, and you you know that's what I'm playing. Um, right. But then one game we've always kind of talked about, too, is what, one of our favorite games, which has got absolute shithole of, like, music in it, is, like, Shining Force. Yeah. Like, that's a great that's game. That can over. Music. I mean, like, the music is so bad, but the game is still good, so, I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of a mixed bag in that situation, but it's just... Maybe this, maybe this affects me more. I, I personally really like, and when I say soundtrack, like, I have the romance... 10 soundtrack i bought an 11 because i bought the special edition one i actually used to listen to that right you know i i personally like the music of the game to fit and it really gets me into it I what guess. was the actual wording of his second part of the question was that if uh if it sounded good it could make a blah. oh yeah so good it made up for 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 perceived lack of game or so bad that it brought the game down so you like the music you like the soundtrack you've obviously purchased some would they if you had a an average game does a good soundtrack make it a good game Possibly, yeah. Okay. For so, me. And I guess maybe it's me, like, maybe it's the single player person of me. Like, when I play a strategy game, first off, with a game like that, you're going to listen to certain musics over and over and over. Oh, yeah. So when a game in, in Medieval Total Warfare 1 is a real great example, I'll play certain, like, I'll play, I like the Byzantine Empire on that one. And well, who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? I like the Byzantine I, Empire. That's, that's that was my first I always like too. to defend them. I, you know, I want to reverse the Battle of Mankert. It, it's, it's when I, I play that game and I get into it, I hear the music. It's like I'm really playing the game. Right. I can't like put like like and sometimes I like to play. But we used to play games like we used to play like uh, the show or shit yeah, like that. Yeah, we would put music on in the background. Well, yeah, because they have the, terrible the fucking soundtracks. soundtracks. Are fucking all dreadful. sports games have horrible. It's soundtracks. either terrible rap or really bad college rock, which yeah. we all fucking hate college yes. rock. And me and you would listen to metal yeah, in the background, of course. And I couldn't do that to a strategy game. I need the music, right? So there's certain going games. in a Chinese restaurant and hearing like country music. It just oh, doesn't feel right. So it that. differs per game then. Sure, game style. The game. But even then, I there's like certain art, like Secret of Mana. Oh yeah, I hear the beginning. I can, I can, I feel that music. That right. is music that makes that game better. Like right. we gave that game such a rating because the music. Yeah, that it's Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I mean, oh but, my god! But, but I will helped. say though, like in in the realm of the question of being, you know, can it make an average game good? In my opinion, it's kind of like. I mean, it's worth talking about, but it's in a way I don't know if you can make an averaging good. What about a good can, game, great. But you can, or or a good game. I'd say the good game to great is much more plausible than the average game to good. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like oh, that game was all right, but it had great music. It's kind of yeah. like that 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 outlier, that bonus right. at the end there. Like, oh yeah, by the way, that music you need that was fucking amazing. Kind of like the cherry on top. Yeah, sure, I right. agree. And, and I guess this follow up, which is not even related at all to that, have any of us, have any of us played the Bravely Default demo? What the fuck is that? I have no idea what that is. It's really heavily plugged. I only see it because I follow Nintendo on Twitter. They've been plugging it like no to Bravely Default? It's an RPG. Huh. It's going to be on DS. Yeah. But it I... looks freaking awesome. I just wanted to give him a shout out to the second part of his question. Ask any of my viewers if I uh, use social media. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I fucking avoid it like the plague. I just, I, you know, I follow Nintendo. It's one, they're one of their games are really heavily advertising. So it's a Nintendo developed game? 
Uh, no. Okay. No, third it's just party a, or it's a third party. Okay. I'm not sure who though, but it's a game they're really getting out there because right. it's only on Nintendo. And it's but called it's Bravely weird. Default. Bravely Default. That's a hmm. weird fucking title. Hmm. That's and, what I thought. And it's but... for it's for the DS. Mm-hmm. That sucks because I don't have a DS and I don't yeah. really have the really want to get one. I yeah. mean, you know, random time I remember was you, Andrew, or was you, JJ, who talked about Nintendo should just almost make two systems. That was one me. for okay, one for kitty and one for adults. In a way. I kind of do. Oh no, that was for that was you that said that. Did I say that? I think so. Yeah. It wasn't me. I, I know said, that. Much. I said they should make a, a specifically retro system. Yeah, that had yeah. Older okay, arcades. That was, I, but I, either way, like said. in a way, it's almost like they do make an adult system, and it's the DS, right? Because that's where all their RPGs and a lot of their crazier titles go. And you would think that would be the kitty system. You know what I mean? The handhelds. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? But well, well, that is the sack. Well, I'll be damned. We emptied our sack. Thank you sack. for those questions. Those were good. Feel it. Mm. Uh, so. We have a, we have kind of an interesting main topic. I'd say so. I hopefully hopefully it's interesting because if it wasn't in, if we chose like a boring main topic, I think we'd be really yeah. shitty hosts. The history we're of gonna, the A button. We're gonna talk about knitting. <laughs> well, it was uh, red <laughs> and then also red. And you then tapped it. it on Sega. It was black. Tap that A button. <laughs> yeah. It made you jump sometimes. It did. It also did. made you do other things other times. Confirmed things usually. Mm. It was normally confirmed. See, be... the B button was always a negative button. It's like, no. what? that's racist. Why does it got to be negative? I know. It's got to be negative. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to talk about not really history, more of the, I guess, the history yeah, and the future of renting or acquiring games. Because nobody rents games anymore. It comes out on Steam, you buy it. You go to GameStop, you pick it up. You order it online, it gets delivered to your you house. You download it instantly. Yeah. So, I mean... Ooh. We're, the point the point which we want to talk about this is because, one, when we were kids, it was like the coolest fucking thing to go to the store and rent a Nintendo game or a Super Nintendo game oh, or something yeah. like that. Because you'd get it for five days, like a dollar. Well, it depends on it. was like three if you kept it for a few. Usually, like from where I was at, it was like a dollar. It was so much for a day and so much for two days. I remember one of the places around here actually raised the prices like i remember it being like six dollars for a rental at one that was blockbuster was it blockbuster it was seven dollars well see i wasn't i wasn't a, I, I don't think i ever went to blockbuster that was the n64 day a hollywood video did the same thing okay seven bucks for like a week or something like that or five days that was later five, in the, the seven the bucks for a five days, day rental but yeah. yeah but blockbuster here the one on lincoln had an awesome selection i first moved to evans so i was like holy crap dude yeah. this had Genghis Khan clan, clan of the Grey Wolf. I'm yeah. like, who has that? Fuck yeah. I'm so, I'm so I'm glad they had that for you, dude. <laughs> I was going to, I would have, if I know anything they had, I would have rented it instead wow, of Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, so, the, uh, the point we want to make is that should there be the option to try video games before you buy them now? Because there's really not. Unless you want to get Gamefly, and even when a new game comes out on Gamefly, you're never going to get it. You're going to be very lucky if you get it. I mean, if they go to, like, more demos and stuff, if they would, like... I don't want a demo. I want to play the game before I buy it. When I rented it, I didn't get a demo. When I had Sega Channel, I didn't get a demo. Sometimes I got a demo. But most of the time But I it's didn't. renting in general. If we're really tackling the idea of renting, renting is, is not dead, but it's gone to a different format, like a red right. box. You pay a dollar, you get it, you go. Games are more expensive than movies. Right. They're also a different experience, and you don't go play it for a day. It's it's just a, it's a different world, you know? I, and then also, too, inherently, one of the flaws with renting in general, especially with everything being on disc now, is scratched discs. And, you know, what was more frustrating to you if you rented a game and then it was scratched? You're like, fuck, I can't play this I gotta, game. If I can take it back, oh, it was the only one available. And then, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. of course, there'd probably be those dicks who's like, ah, oh, my game is scratched up. I'm going to go rent the game from fucking place and then switch them out and, and do stupid shit like that. I don't that. know if it's the same way, but for movies, like, they paid, like, $60, $70 for a movie at right. Blockbuster. Right. Because right. what they did was they had to pay way more, and they kept certain rental fees back, and they had to give some to their company. I don't know if it's that way for video games, but a movie saves 20 bucks, a game 60 holy crap, if they're paying 100 or more, they're going to have to, I mean, Grant, I know they're probably going to rent it out a bunch. Right. But it just it's a different mode. It's like, when I get to the weekend on Friday... That was my, like, not my allowance, but I got to go rent games. Yeah, like, absolutely. You know, yeah. Almost every fucking weekend. And that's what they, if you were bad, that's what they could take away from you, which I think only happened once. My mom ended up forgetting and still renting me a game. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> First world problems. Yeah, exactly, re- right? And she rented you Booger Man instead or something. It was Nintendo. <laughs> it was old. <laughs> you know, I, and I grew up, and a little kid is a little, in a little town. We had one game, one, one movie store, but it had video games. Mm-hmm. Eventually we had another one, but... Which also had video games. Like, dude, that was cool that was story, the, bro. No, yeah, just <laughs> that was the big deal. Like, you'd go to the thing and you'd get the games. Yeah, and they had a good selection, but they had all kinds of like sometimes I think all the random ass games I played is because I rented. Yes, and see, 
today's renting is piracy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem, is today's renting is piracy, and it's illegal. So if you, you run the risk of getting in trouble because you want to try a game. Very, very hefty trouble, Mike. Yeah. Of, like, way more trouble than you should I mean, ever get I think in. some people are doing piracy aren't ever going to go buy it if they rent it. Maybe not. I don't know if it's the same spirit. No. You're right. I think... I think see, the thing is... is that but you're right that the only way to try it... Is, is to pirate it. Is to pirate it. What do you guys think about something like this? Okay, so say Steam gives you the option to rent a game, right? Like five dollars, and they allow you to have it, and it just shuts off or something at a certain point in time. Five bucks, you download it like you bought it, you start playing it. At the end, because they have the capabilities to do that, it's in the in the license agreement. They have the ability to end your ability to play a game. Now they would never exercise that, obviously. Of course not. But they could expound on that and make it so you could pay five dollars. You could download the game like you bought it, play it for whatever amount of time, three days, five days, a week, whatever, and then at the end of that, it goes away. Unless you choose to buy it, then you pay the rest of the money that it would cost to buy it. Which makes good sense. I think it'd be smart. The only problem, I, th I don't know if there'd be a way to open it up to pirating that, you know, in a way, getting rid of the, the free trial period. I'm sure somebody out there would find a way to work the system. But they're but already I mean, doing it. But yeah, and maybe that's and maybe that's such a low percentage of people that you know if it if you're doing it and five percent of the population figures out a way to hack you, do you really care? I mean, right? So doesn't fix consoles where no, the majority of people get their games from. And then then I was then I got to thinking like, well, what about GameStop? Like, why don't they do something? Not renting, but why don't they do something like that? Like, you know, y you could take home a used game for a certain amount of money or like half the cost or then something. You have to get them to come back. Well, you, you have to keep your credit card or something like that. Yeah. Which, like, Blockbuster there did at the end. You could rent if you don't bring it back. Because once they had to lose those late fees, they're like, well, if you don't bring it back, we'll just charge you for the full price. Right. Which wow. is, like, $33 $300, for yeah. a damn movie. And you're like, this is a fucking DVD. Right. I'm going to go to Walmart for five bucks or something. But, right. you know, whatever. I don't I don't, I don't know. Is, is, there a, is there a place for it? Gamefly is the only thing doing it. Well, there's definitely a place for it. I guess, I don't know, it, it's... Okay, like, we don't really... We remember arcades. We talk about going to arcade. We don't... The Golden Age arcade was, like, 75 to, like, 83 yeah. before the video game crash. It's just something we're not really used to. Galaga, shit like that. But the Golden Age of rental? That's in our fucking wheelhouse. Yeah. Every grocery store had a rental. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pharmacies. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. Dude, Farmore? Farmore. Oh, my God. Did you rent Farmore? No, I, I rented a Schnooks. Farmore was over by where Rafferty's is. And, oh, oh okay. my God. They had such an amazing selection. Huge, like... I don't know, Rain 30 foot RPGs wall. you never see. 30 foot wall of just wow. Nintendo games. It was massive. Wow. And there was a place on Green River Road, right over like, kind of like where Spuds and stuff is. Yeah. And they would rent Japanese games. Wow. So you, you had to do the little fucking little switch on your Super Nintendo. Wow, bitches. But they, 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 they really <laughs> fucking rented random ass games. It's like, that was what you did. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I don't know if like kids today really understand that rental wasn't just blockbuster. It was everybody and their fucking brother. Yeah, yeah you'd it. have you'd have little mom and pop rental shops. I mean, and they just you'd have pizza places. Oh, they yeah, would have yeah. like movies. They were I like, oh, a, you rent, rent a movie when that, you take yeah. your pizza home. Main Street Pizza and and, uh, and Seabird did. Yeah. So you had all these things that you could get, all these places that you could get games from, and we just don't have that anymore. And I th honestly, I think. I, I'm. This is a conspiracy theory, maybe, but I think that big companies like Hold EA on. or people that were Grassy getting their, <laughs> people that were getting their their games pirated, I think they kind of wanted to do off with with these kind of places. I don't know when. Why did it? Why did consumers let it die? If we really liked renting it, when did it die? Why did it die? Well, isn't renting games really just a function of renting movies? No, not for me. It's not for you. But for mom and dad, for you usually to those places they, 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 would, they games, would get their movies and we'd get we'd get our games. Yeah, but I remember being sixteen, driving to Blockbuster or a movie store myself and renting just games. Yeah, oh, oh I know. I used to get mad because I'd have to go to the one in Newburgh if the one in fucking Lincoln didn't have it. Right. I had to fucking call ahead for a game to make sure they had it in stock. Right. I get that, but that's not gonna carry the weight of a company. No, it's not gonna carry the weight of a company, but isn't it just free revenue? You'd think so. I mean, like, you're already doing something else. Why can't you just have games on the shelf while you're running your own business? I mean, I know it's not so very I, I will say uh, too, easy to it, get into. It, it seems like games now are being much more mass-produced, and you've got systems that do just churn out games. And also, too, I mean, you've got the same game appearing on three different systems. That's, you know, you, as, a, as a store who's going to rent these games out, I have to now have ten copies of Madden for 360 
or not, I guess you know Xbox One, uh, PS4, Wii U, PS4, Wii U. Thank you. Um, I mean, that's and that's back in the day you didn't have to have it because one system wouldn't have all of the you know they'd have exclusive titles that the other systems wouldn't have, and there weren't you know that's there a were, good point actually and there and there were only two big systems you know back in our heyday you know you really for the most part I mean yeah you went into like uh, N64 and that kind of stuff but like on Sega and Super Nintendo those are kind of the only two people that. You really saw a lot of rental games. Right? Yeah, I mean, just... you didn't really see rentals for anything else. I mean, yeah. it was the big companies until it. PlayStation One and PlayStation Two. Then you'd you'd see those, and you'd see GameCube, and you know, then Xbox. But then also eventually. too, cartridges versus CDs. Yeah. I mean, it kind of you know, I kind of made the joke earlier about CDs getting scratched and shit. But I mean, at some point, it's going to happen. If you loan the same PlayStation game out to fifty different people, just by happenstance, not even being malicious about it, you're going to have somebody. Accidentally you scratch it, it, and then after 50 people have been playing with it or have different shitty systems, or you've got a fucking PS2 that's mm-hmm. held together by fucking tape and gum and shit, and it's fucking <laughs> scratching the shit of your disc. I and mean, you could you? copy that disc. Yeah. yeah. I knew a lot of people had a nice collection of games after they go and rent them and, and just copy them. I know you're not talking about me. No, I actually don't think I am. Right? Oh. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know if you are. I, I don't I mean, think so. Definitely well, not talking about I don't you. remember you doing it. You're not now. No, exactly, right? <laughs> but, I mean, it, it just... I, I guess what happened, like... That's my that's my question. I I want to be able to test games before I buy them. You know how many times I bought a little shitty indie game? Demos are terrible, by yeah. the way. You know how many times I bought a little shitty indie game just to play it? You know why? Because it was like four dollars. If I could rent a big game for four dollars and test it out, you would probably do that. I, honestly, I would do that because there are a lot I of do games. That a there ton. are a lot of games on Steam. I'm like, that looks fucking cool. But it looks sixty dollars cool. Yeah, and then, and then the first thing I do exactly. is I, I go I go and find ratings on it, and like in my mind, and it's not you can't justify it. Well, and it's it's something like if this is a game that looks cool, but it ranks like a seventy or something on like a meta score or games or you know seven out of ten. It's like that's a good game still, but I'm like, is that worth forty dollars to me? Yeah. And I hate that I'm like that, but if you said, hey, here's four dollars to rent that game, oh fuck yeah, I'm gonna rent it because it may be bad in places that I don't give a shit about. Well, and like back in our day when we grew up, if I bought a game and didn't like it, I could take it back. Oh yeah, because you couldn't copy it. It was a cartridge. You couldn't copy. I mean. In the beginning of PlayStation, you could still take those back. But once they started to realize, wait a minute, we're getting fucked here. Yeah. They put a stop to that, and you, now if it's the seal's broken, you can't take it back unless it's defective, and then you can only exchange it. So on software downloads and stuff like you're talking about, you know, browsing Steam looking for a good RPG or something that might be fun to play, I, I don't know that it's going to be fun, and I'm not going to spend $40 on your game if you don't offer me a chance to test it out first. You know what I mean? So many games I would probably play now that I don't give the chance. The one thing I'll say, too, and it's just a difference in games. Back then, a lot of good games that we all love and remember, they may have only been a 5 to 10 hour experience. Right. Now, That's games true. now, if it's a basic game, it might be 30 or 40. Well, let me pay another 5 to rent it again. Yeah, and I agree And, and I'm that. renting I'm just, to own. I'm just saying it's a completely... It is a, that's the only thing I will say it's a little bit different of scope. Like, a lot of the games I rented, it's like... Clash at Demon Head. I played it for five or six hours. I, I got what I needed out of that weekend, and that was good. You know? I didn't oh, there was those games it. that you'd rent, and you'd just like, I can't fucking wait to take this piece of shit back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know like, what you I mean? rent Tiger yeah. Healy, and you're like, okay, I yeah. beat it. I'm in the, I, now, sadly, I own that one, I own too. it. I was going to say that. I own yeah, Tiger Yeah, I own Healy. that one, so I can't really knock that one. But, you know, it's a game like that where you play it, and you kind of feel like you got what you want out of it. Nowadays, that's what they avoid. Games like that are avoided, it seems oh, yeah. like. Oh, yeah. You go to you go to the internet, you look it up, you find out, oh, this game got a four out of ten. I'm not buying that, and then your search is over. But what, maybe maybe it fits me and not the other sixty percent that voted against it. You know sure. what I mean? Maybe Never trust it, maybe online. I'm, f- no, views. maybe I'm part of that four. Maybe I like it. Well, and also too, I mean, don't necessarily. I I don't think you should not don't completely trust online reviews but you know take with a grain of salt you can't you can't just swear by them oh god this guy this game got a four most online reviews you see are from one person or from not people a company who are, or from mad yes people who go on like it's kind of like if you like a like an urban spoon or a restaurant you know who Yelp. calls in to fucking pe- places and complains people who are yeah. mad nobody oh, goes yeah. online and goes i'm gonna leave a comment because i was so happy we, right. yeah, we, we, we all worked person. in retail and we always like the people who called in were always shitty they were oh, yeah. like when you very, got a very, call in that was like positive you're like cool oh yeah like, the like, best thing we'd sell yeah. That had a hundred bad reviews. We sold millions of them, you dumb fuck. Yes. What's a what phone? Just I'm any phone. Any phone. Oh, lots yeah. of good phones. Like it was like uh, when the S S twos or S threes came out, people were like, "Oh yeah, I saw there was a hundred bad reviews on them." I'm like, there were also ten thousand good reviews. Yeah, or we something sell either. them all the time, and people love them. Right. Or HTC, like the Thunderbolt. Well, I saw the Thunderbolt, so I didn't like this. That's an amazing phone. Everybody wants it. Right. And you're dumb. <laughs> That's it. That. That's a good selling point. Yeah, you're, you're dumb. dumb. You're dumb. Well, leave, well, leave my store. 
you know, get the fuck out. Give me I money. guess the length of game thing that I will say it's like most people now. I imagine they don't for the course of a year games they really play what five, maybe ten, unless they're like a sixteen year old or an eight year old kid who has no job, goes to school, and probably has fifty hours a week to dedicate to gaming. Most people probably don't play that many games over the course of a year. Well, even people who do have a lot of time to commit to games, a lot of people are committing to. If you've got, if you've got the fifty hours a week to, to dedicate to a game, you may be dedicating it to WoW or Call of Duty, something that well, is very repeatable, or MOBAs, Smite, League of Legends, that kind of thing. Yeah, Smite. I mean, well, think about like, I bet. What, when did Burning Crusade come out? Oh God, I couldn't even get. Not that long before like, I started playing. When I started playing in that one year, I don't. Two thousand four. Five, six, oh, seven. Oh no, it was, no, it was more like that, it was oh, eight. Though. Okay, seven, yeah. eight. Let's say eight, seven Summer. years ago. You can Google it real quick. Yeah, I can Google it. I'm not going to, but okay. we'll say seven years ago. How many games have you played in seven years? Because of WoW and Smite. Not very many. So maybe that's the reason. Well, I think it's part of it. If you really used to like all these games are coming out, the amount of games coming out now are nowhere near the games that came out when we were younger. No, no, no. Games, games were, were flat, out. and they weren't like seasons. They just came out. Yeah, games were out all the time. So there's a, a much more, there's a dearth of games were so much more numerous back then. I think that's part of it that what you get out of the experience, but maybe th- people more discerning too. I think that maybe what would combat that would be renting. If you had the renting ability, maybe you'd play more games. Maybe you'd try more indie developers. Maybe other developers would blow up on the market because their game was successful, but nobody wanted to give them the shot to buy it in the first place. Let's look at it a different, in a different light. If we were going to open a store today, and we wanted to open a rental service store, a video game rental store, we better have the money up front because nobody's going to give us a loan. We've got a million dollars. <laughs> we've got ten million dollars. We've got all the money in the well, world. We're, to... we're, we're, not, we're, we're just <laughs> yeah, dude. We're just going to lazy. Then. We're just going to lay on that money and mask. We've got ten million dollars contingent on the fact that we open a store, and then whatever we don't <sighs> use is gone. Fuck this. So think about it. How will we make that store successful? Hookers. <laughs> Lots There's, of hookers. Is there a way? Honestly, I don't. You're depending on your level of success. Could we somehow break even if, if we, we don't need, wanna, if we don't want to pay ourselves? Maybe it needs to be profitable. If you're making like a real business turn profit, where you're making money, on can your we rent, create the next blockbuster on video games alone? I will say like that. Family video plays is actually a pretty successful business so the, model. The ones that are still around are still successful. Which because it was like everybody goes, man, who rents movies? People. Red, Redbox. Redbox yeah. is good. Old people. Well, Red, well, Redbox, well, all people are going to die eventually, so they're going to... It's just not a good long-term you have, business plan. You have to... It's just kind of like piracy. You have to become... It's like, for example, in theory, saying we did rip off music or not. Yeah. You know, if you make something so cheap and so easy, it's like, yeah, I could probably pirate this and save myself $3. It's just not worth the effort. Yeah. I'd really just pay 2 or $3. And My wife what, did that, like, a year ago. She asked me to download an album that I couldn't remember... I kept forgetting, and she just fucking bought it. And I was like, God damn it, you spent money on that? I could have that for you, theoretically. Yes. Theoretically. <laughs> well, well three bucks, I'm going to go pay a dollar, or maybe two. Yeah. Well, for a dollar, and there's one everywhere, do well, I want to pay a dollar? Redbox is successful because there's not there's no interaction. I don't have to go into a fucking dedicated building to this thing. It's like, oh, hey, it's going to have new movies. Swipe things, give me movie, buy. And, and Redbox is usually at shitholes, so I don't have to like dress up to go to it. It's like at McDonald's, CVS. CVS and Walgreens. I, yeah. pers- I personally wear collared shirts to every McDonald's and CVS <laughs> that I go to, so fuck off. And You're like in slacks. a tux. <laughs> fucking slacks and dress shoes, bitch. I even do the black socks, too. So oh, nice. Matches. Yeah, come on. Yeah. What, are we doing white what are you, bullshit. tacky? Yeah, I know. Seriously, fuck that. No, it's cheap. It, it's, a, it's a price point that is so cheap, it doesn't matter. So then the answer is consoles are kind of fucked on renting. Do, do you leave your house? But the problem is they're the ones that need renting the most. I know. The, the Steam thing is great and all, but you got to realize that it just that so many, so many, so many more people play consoles. Sure. It's not even a close comparison. But Steam's an easy fix. It is. Or could, for PC could, people, hypothetically could great. Be an easy you, fix. Now it's kind of like you've got a, a minority of people fixed, but you're not really. There's got to be somewhere out there to make money because there's so many people out there to do it. And that's probably why Gamefly still makes it. Maybe we're not smart enough to figure it out. I think Obviously that's probably the pe- it. We're all the years of running Blockbuster and all the millions they made, they weren't smart enough to save bankruptcy. Yeah. Of course, they made some horrible moves towards the end, but if Gamefly what, works, what, I, 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 what what be may, I mean, maybe Gamefly is maybe Gamefly is that solution. because It's not. It's terrible. Well, maybe $23 it's... a month. You can only rent two games at a time. Yeah, you can have them infinitely, but you'll never get a new title. Never. 
Is it? Is it? I mean, really? like, how, how do they? How do they judge how long? You Every. Get a new, I mean, how do you get a new title? I mean, somebody's gonna get the soon, new titles. Yeah, some people do, but they get like a hundred copies and they're gone instantly. As soon as release happens, they're gone. Really? And I've they, never used and it. And you so can I have keep no it, idea. and you can keep the games infinitely. So they're gone until somebody decides I want to return that, and then the next person's right on it. There's no queue. You have to. You have to be on it. Oh, so there's not like oh, you it's were... a line of thousands. You know what I mean? Like for, people waiting for there, your lines of four. ten, ten thousands waiting for a thousand copies of a game. Exactly. So you might wait three months to play a game that you want to play just to test it out. And you've already paid sixty nine dollars of the twenty three bucks a month. So you've already paid the price to fucking buy the game. Exactly. That's why GameFly I don't feel like is successful or going to last. You have an option to pay sixteen. You can only rent one at a time. The problem, once again, I think compared to movies, is it's a cost of games are three times the price. Yeah. That's a big that's a big problem. Just right. on a small scale, just your movie rental store, I carry say I carry two hundred movies, but you're gonna carry more than that. You carry two hundred games. Well you you could carry six hundred movies for that price, and that's kinda I think part of the problem. Because right. you have to find a price for rental that will return a profit. Right. Even if it's just six dollars to rent a game and one tenth the price, you have to have that one game rented ten fucking times. I mean, are there people that still buy DVDs? Yeah, I buy DVDs. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Occasionally. It's usually like two to three dollars. And they're used. And this is something that I just thought of. I, I don't mean to be this guy, but... Sure you do. When I, I mean, yes. <laughs> love being this guy. Well, I do. I, you are or this guy. You are that guy. No, no, this, is, this isn't even that big of a thing. But, like, whenever we were younger, how expensive was gas? Well... I mean, I don't, I don't, point. I don't mean. To I remember like, when gas was ninety nine cents. I yeah, it was a quarter. And yeah, no, I literally used to be remember a nickel. it being ninety nine cents. You know? But it's just, you know, I don't know if people were constantly. Like, I'm not gonna go out to waste gas to go to a, you know, rent you a fucking video game. But I mean, that's another small concern that I would guess would. I don't know that that's gonna be the deterring issue there, but it's getting out. I think, I think it's just a little bit of just generally we're lazy too because we people just, are less social now. We just really don't want to go outside and make a fucking trip. I don't want to go. I avoid trips to anywhere that I can. Just, just, for, just <laughs> because general. I can't. I'm just like fuck it. I'm not going because I have to move. Yeah. So, I mean, is it is it permanently dead? Is that our consensus? Or I think. That is there a possibility to? I think there is. It? I think the problem is too. Like, is we're using this in a small microcosm of conversation of renting and things like that. It's more of a uh, three month, six month, nine month business plan. Uh, meaning of a boardroom kind of head problem because right. you're really going to have to look at how much can I get the game, what the licensing fees, what is the correct break even point, what's my labor cost. It's that difficult of a problem to resurrect. Sure, I think it's not like a we've got this idea or this new angle. Let's fucking do it. Yeah, because I think Blockbuster after all the different times and they're merging and then finally Dish bought them out and liquidated them. There must have been some answer in there. You would think. But why didn't they come up with it? Exactly. They have the millions and the time to do it. Why does Family Video work? Yeah, and not then. Is it because it's franchised? Is there something different? There's something in there because that's a franchise place that's still growing. Yeah. This, is where, this is where your conspiracy theory comes in. Yep. Fucking EA shutting people down. EA. Yeah, they're doing it. EA and Sony, they got together. They had a demon baby, and that baby is going around murdering rental places. Yeah, we talked how much we hate both those companies. Oh, Jesus Christ. I still, not, yeah, I some people mention that uh, Microsoft. Like, they're the evil company. What? Because of Xbox One and the whole DRM thing? I imagine they're Apple fanboys. Maybe? I don't know about that. I don't consider Microsoft an evil company at all. No, Bill Gates is one of the most charitable people in the well, nation. Or, or granted, he's got so much money, it doesn't fucking matter. Well, point. sure, but the the fact of the matter is, is everybody was pissed off about the Xbox One and how it's always online and you have to be online to play video games. Uh, and... By the way, uh, 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's my response to that. Well, but the point is, is that... People... It's eventually going to happen anyway. Yeah, the point is, is that I don't want to be... I don't want to have to log in to an online system to yes. play a single player yes. game. Oh, I agree. That I agree. And with. if my internet's out, I can't play a video game. That's what. That's the shit that it's stupid. Yeah. And why are you mad? Because guess what? They stopped it. They right. actually listened to what people wanted. Yes. Good luck getting Sony to listen to anything you want. Right. They don't give a fuck. No. And they never will. But anyway, so <laughs> off point our, our our hate for them. We we do think that it could work. Sure. We just we just don't have off the top of our heads an idea how. But I honestly, I, I, I think it could work. But I, I also don't think it'll ever make a comeback. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it'll ever make. I think the effort I think and that risk. ship has sailed. The yeah. effort and risk required. Like we we're joking. Oh, you, we better have the cash because we wouldn't get a bank loan. That is correct. I mean, and if you really are rich right now and you're going to invest in a video game rental service, well, think what? about how much it costs to open a franchise of like a restaurant, like Buffalo Wild Wings, like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars just to open up a restaurant. 
And that's a small restaurant. Yeah. And that's attached to a building. We're not talking about a standalone B-Dubs. Well, that's because most of your restaurant franchises are more like fast food, but they can be expensive, but the, too. the reason why is because think of all the fucking TVs you have to buy. Think of all the the refrigerators and the freezers and shit like that you have to buy. All the cooking, you know, the appliances and shit you have to buy. Think about, uh, it's like, a video game rental. Have Have shelves. Have shelves, but you have to have ten copies of every yes, hit game. Exactly. That's that's yes. Every time they come out. Another thing I know we haven't even thought about this. I think a big part of it too is like look at GameStop or a place like that. Back when we were kids, you couldn't. I mean, you could go to book, bro- book broker, but there wasn't any place to get used games. No. Now, huge game market, the secondary market is fucking massive. There's no eBay. I couldn't go get a game for a third of the price. No. I'm not talking like the GameStop. Hey, this is used. Take five dollars off. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. I hate that. Oh, I worked in that because you know shit. what? I'll buy the new one every single time. Absolutely, Fuck I your will. Five dollars because you probably give that poor guy like sixteen bucks. I gave him the five dollars that you're taking. Yeah, you're yeah. raping him. So, but the problem is used market. Like after a game's like six, eight months old, you can probably get it for maybe half the price. You know, and that I think is a big detriment to the rental market because that didn't used to be there you want to go find a random game where are you going to find it but in that same sale in that same <laughs> I mean, I, I seriously in that, because back in the day when you wanted a specific game that you couldn't find you might go to a yard sale or something like that or you know scavenge the, the do that or go to the toys r us or something but now if you want yeah. that random game what, game what are you gonna do i remember go buying go to game stop yeah or google search it and like i'll just go to ebay and find ebay it. Yeah. yeah craigslist you know whatever the plethora of websites you could go to to get a used game from yep. The thing, the thing again, though, is that renting cost me five dollars. Going to GameStop and getting a used game still going to cost me forty, thirty, maybe. Yeah. And even then, yeah, I can trade it back in, but I'm still going to lose twenty five dollars, yeah, twenty dollars, whatever. It just, uh, and you're right, the five dollar thing. I'm just more looking at, like, say, a, a GameFly argument. Right. Twenty three bucks, man. I can probably just get that used in three months. How many video games do you buy a year? Now a lot less than I used to. But maybe, maybe ten, maybe fifteen. In your heyday, was ten? Oh God, a lot more than that. Well, okay, so a, a normal a normal life. I mean, I I bought <laughs> sure. a normal. I, I, I used to buy a lot of computer buy. games and buy a lot because I I definitely like my eBay and my used games. Right. Like when we would play and rent games. No, man, no, no, I meant new. I'm sorry, I meant new. Oh, uh, probably still at least ten because okay. I buy. I always buy my computer games new. Okay, so ten, the six hundred dollars at least. Yeah, game flies twenty three dollars a month. So just to be able to test games, even though you're not going to get the new ones, you're paying. A third of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're still paying f- fucking $300. And I don't have the weird games that I want. Right. You know, like the games I bought new, like I bought Bladestorm new, which was a Koei 100 Years War kind of Dynasty Warrior tactic game. They would probably not have had that for I a highly doubt that. I bought that brand new because that's what I wanted. Right. You know, it's games like that. that. It's a cool game. There's a lot of games. I guess I maybe, I, maybe my 10 might have been low. But the point is, you're, you're completely correct. I'm still paying a substantial portion. Just to not own them. Yeah, and that's the thing is you're... you're, you're I don't it, want a monthly fee. I want to rent it when I want it. Correct. Yeah. That's the that's how it sh- that's how it was and that's how it should be. If you're, I bet if you're advertised and you're in the right market and demographic, I think it still can work. Because you'd have to have people that don't... And that's not bad. If people have an amazing amount of discretionary income, who cares? I'm just going to buy it. Right. You'd have to find the right market where there were costs conscious consumers it had to be a small town because one it had to be close enough to everybody and mm-hmm. two it had to be people that may not be able to afford a shitty game should they happen upon one and it would help if it's more of a add on your business yes not absolutely. saying it needs to be in your back room it's you know al's pizza shack but if you had like maybe an electronics store in a small town right. or you did appliances and tvs and you did that as well i don't see why that couldn't like work like an hh greg or because uh, if you could absorb yeah. the cost of buying the games you could at least you wouldn't you've been risking your future to do it right something like that could work as more of an ad, yeah, I see, I see it as more of an add-on than a dedicated store. I mean, I, I think like we were saying, like the days of Blockbuster, well, the days of Blockbuster specifically are already <laughs> obviously gone. But I think the days of Blockbuster type uh, giant cor- uh, giant chains, I guess, because Family Video to my is not a chain, is it? Is, I mean, is I it a franchise? Like, is it, is it franchise? like you or I would own it. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, is it is it local around here or is it no, no. nationwide? Oh wow, I didn't know that. I, didn't know. Really I, I assumed it was a decent deal. I just didn't know how big they were. Yeah. So. Huh. Yeah. Well, but they're they're bread and butter like you know Jasper, you know it's like places like that. Their bread and butter is well, not yeah, in Chicago yeah. or something like that. That's a Redbox you know place. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. So I don't know. We 
We miss the days of renting. I think it's we always talk about what we get nostalgia on, dude. It just that was like what I did every week. And like my friends, like, oh, dude, I'm gonna go rent this game. You're gonna come to my house at this time, and we're gonna stay up all night playing it. Right? Or, or you know, that was oh, the the do I, I want to rent one blank. for three dude, days or two for one day? Oh my god, what do I do? You know? Right. Or you, you'd be dumb. so excited when you found the copy of the game that they, you know, that you want. Oh, it's in! Oh yeah, fuck yeah! Yeah. Like we gotta go right to school, mom, because I have to get this game. Right. Oh, yeah. things like that, and nobody's like. I'm just gonna play Call of Duty again. Yeah. Uh, uh, prestige level 59. Headshot. Yeah. Fucking noob. <laughs> Kill yourself. Yeah, blunted what 420 just killed you. What? Yeah. I don't know. Get raped. <laughs> uh, so that has. You guys let us know in the comments. What you know? Do you, do you even care about renting games? Because because we do. And everybody's like, this is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck really you guys. You renting. really did bring a topic we didn't give a really shit renting about. Renting is the gay You should have actually talked about knitting. We would have had Fuck more that. fun. I'm, I'm resurrecting far more in this bitch. <laughs> far more. Give me the A button. Because that was like a... The one Terra Terrahoda I used to rent games from, dude, had fucking awesome games too. It's like every farmer. Like my know. parents got... Uh, they were renting. We'd go up to you know visit my grandparents or my cousins or whatever, you know, because Wesley would be up there, and we actually had an account at that farmer as well just to rent games while we were there on the weekends. The one here had like groceries too. Oh, yeah. Had like groceries, regular like CVS style pharmacy stuff. It's more like a... I don't know. It, there's really not a store model like it no. anymore. It's like if Walgreens and Super Target could could have a baby. Super Target's sort of a grocery store, but not full on grocery store. Right. It's kind of like that conglomerate. Yeah, but it's still it was weird. It's weird. It's probably why they went out of business. <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, yeah, it was, our business model doesn't make sense at all. The world's <laughs> yeah. so different, dude. Yeah, it twenty is. years make a difference. Twenty years do make a difference. All right, I guess it's time for the lightning round. Lightning round. <laughs> If you're a sound effects guy, we need to hire you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, girl. It's time for the lightning round. All right. Welcome to the lightning round, the show that we play almost every time, except for last time. Yeah. Yeah. My bad on that, guys. You son of a bitch. I'll just not be sick ever. Now I can never say. Unbreakable. I can never say the game we play every time. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, but no, yeah. It was retcon it. Yeah. All right, so uh, first category game. Yep. Uh, since nobody won last time, I brought the retro game. Should I start? I guess. I just might yeah. well. Why not? All right. Um, I'm gonna. This is a, this is a very specific category. Okay. Oh, all right. But I'm doing this on purpose because a lot of times our category games and our link to last games can go kind of long. So this is going to be God. melee weapons in video games, but you have to name the game that you're drawing the weapon from. So like, like, are we specific like types of melee weapons? Types of melee okay. weapons. So we have to actually like, do we have to like name the weapon? You have to name the weapon and then why you said it. But I mean, like, the, like in a lot of games, the weapon will actually have like a name, not a specific name, oh, like not- Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. You have to name the type of weapon. Okay. And I'll just start with sword from every game ever. I've never played that game. <laughs> oh, you lose. No, you lose. Game you over. didn't name the game, game over, fucker. No, but I thought I specifically named the game because you could say like. Tanfa, okay. What game is that from? You know what I mean? Yeah, like exactly. You could say anything, you know. But anyway, okay. go ahead. So I'm going to go with Tanfa. <laughs> God damn it. Which is from Soul was, Calibur. Yeah. I was actually going to go uh, Code 2 on that, but yeah. uh, I will go a a mace from World of Warcraft. Mace. Ah, mace. I'll go with... Um, the rapper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he still alive? Yeah. I don't know. He's actually rapping again. Is he? He did like a, he did like a, a pause, I know he's by gospel. the way. We did like a religious uh, thing, gospel, yeah. and now he's back to rap. I don't know. He oh, copped well, the blue that's... drop. Yeah. He what? <laughs> he copped the blue drop. Who <laughs> Jews got popped. Oh, Jesus. He's the same old pimp. Mm. Ain't nothing changed but his limp. That's right. <laughs> All right. Back to the game. Um, <laughs> what did you say? A mace. A mace. Mace. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. right. Not uh, the rapper. Yeah. How did I forget? I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with a chain from Road Rash. Okay, okay. And by the way, you can double up on games if you have to. I figured as much. Yeah, just not the weapons. What about a whip from Double Dragon? Sure. A whip from Double Dragon? I'll go... Oh, God, what game was that? It was... I know what kind of game it was from. Let's not do that then. I'll just go a a Lance from Dynasty Warriors. All right. Sir Lancelot. Excuse me. Got a little burp sneak up on me. I'm going to go um, Brass Knuckles from Double Dragon. Ah. Huh. How about uh, Nunchucks from Soul Calibur? Okay. Speaking of Knuckles, Knuckles is Knuckles from Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles is Knuckles. Is that really a weapon? Uh, uh, he's he's an spiked. animal's name. No, they have spiked. He has spiked Knuckles. I, uh, 
sure. It's a melee okay. weapon. Well, we'll say maybe he's got gloves on. We don't know, but he doesn't. Um, well, has gloves on. Does he? He's got gloves over his. So like brass knuckles then? <laughs> no, no, he's no. They're his like actual knuckles. He's a fucking in cheetah thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck that thing is, and he's got goddamn knuckles. So this is why we brought you back for to this episode. That's right. Uh, so your answer is knuckles. Knuckles and knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say bare fists? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Okay. So let's go. Um, let's go. Oh, I said melee weapons. Let's go. <laughs> the metal pipe that you get off the robot in Battletoads. Oh, good one. How about a Warhammer? Yeah. From any Skyrim sure. or any game you pick up. It's Warhammers and like a uh, million. Skyrim, games. it's a great hammer. <laughs> well, okay, how about Warhammer? The actual game, Warhammer. Ah, there you go. So, melee weapons, cause that, is close combat is what we're defining as melee weapons or something you, I mean. Something that you have in your hand and you hit somebody okay, with. Okay, because I was going to be just obscure. If, yeah. <laughs> but, cause I, I don't something think, you don't throw. I, I was gonna. I was like to go like from the the fart from Beavis and Butthead. But I don't think that's. I don't think that counts. <laughs> uh, it's good though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. I, but I will go with the uh, skateboard from the Skin, Simpsons games. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Nice. Uh. We'll go. Since you said that kind of game, we'll go s- the uh, size from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Would, would a car from Grand Theft Auto count as a melee weapon? Because <laughs> you just fucking hit people with it. <laughs> No, Andrew, it does not. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't think it works. <laughs> you have to be able to hold it and hit somebody. Okay. I guess if you're the Hulk. Yeah, there's games that do that. Yeah, prototype. Yeah, exactly. Or uh, then it would be a. Real but you man. throw it though. Yes. Okay. You're not actually like swinging it like a bat. You know? No, that's true. Like like the Hulk game, you do that. There's a couple other games like fucking Rampage or King yeah. of Monsters. You do that. You know. Yeah. So, what was your answer, official? Car. Oh, 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 you're from all the games I just named. Oh, okay. I didn't know, like, you were actually. Because when I think melee weapons, I think car. <laughs> <laughs> I think motor vehicle. Um. <laughs> oh, God. I'll do boxing gloves from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> Andrew's category. I don't know that's a, a weapon. Sub category of what can I put on my hands? Hand. Yeah, I don't think that's a weapon. <laughs> They're melee. Oh, Mr. Fucking Brass Knuckles over here. I've only named one hey, more. That's actually you. a weapon. That's a weapon. It was so we're fucking punching. Um, boxing gloves. Let's do. It's protector. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> let's do spears from Morrowind. Spears. I like spears. I did, I did spears, though. You said spears? Uh-huh. I said lance. Oh, you said lance. Lance, lance, lance spears. Lance. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah, when well, you said lance, I didn't know, like, because I'm trying to think of, like, what you mean by lance from Dynasty Warriors. Every... Do you mean, like, like, like one use weapon? No, I meant more, like, just the, the millions upon millions of things that you, like, the people you attack. Oh, got, like, like a big sp- spear yeah, lance. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of, like, okay, then I would say the more the mounted lance from, yeah. like, Bladestorm or Medieval Total War. Sure. I was thinking guns. That's my fault. I was just trying oh, to... No, 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 you're, you're good. Yeah. So... On to you. On you, Hoss. So, what was your what did you just say? A lance, or, a or, mounted lance, like for oh, cavalry. Oh, okay. So you were actually you weren't confirming on mine. You were actually. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure what what kind of lance you were talking about, so that way I could use a different lance. I'll do uh, a katana. lance bass. A uh, katana, <laughs> lance lance bass. You say? <laughs> I don't think he's a weapon. <laughs> a katana uh, from Shining Force. He's a weapon to every man's heterosexuality. A katana from Shining Force. Yes. Um, let's go Musashi. Let's go a bow. And I'll just say from Soul Calibur. From a melee weapon? Yeah. A bow staff. A bow, B O. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, at first I was like, I was you like, know what a melee weapon is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. I'll hit you with my bow. A staff, huh? Okay. Uh, how about the claws that Voldo uses? Whatever you want to classify those crazy fucking sure. claw things. Yeah. That would definitely be... I wouldn't want to get hit by that. No, that would suck. He's creepy. I will say a dagger from every uh, rogue thing ever. <laughs> yeah, how about a dagger I think we've been long? going a little too obscure, and we missed fucking dagger. I said I said sword, so let's just say long sword, short sword, all yeah. that shit's classified. Bastard sword. Bastard sword. Um, all right. Let's go... <laughs> Did somebody say nunchucks yet? Yeah. Oh, well, no? I'm out. Damn it. Yeah. I said nunchucks from Soul Calibur. Okay. On to you. I'm out. Um, axe. We haven't said oh, axe this whole time. What the fuck is wrong? From essentially every game ever. Yeah, but we'll go, with, uh, we'll go with Oblivion. Sure. So we haven't named go. Oblivion once. Uh, I think also axe is going to put the nicks on hatchet or anything <laughs> that could be considered an axe. So, in, so I can't. 
Did we say we say hammer of some sort? Warhammer. You did Warhammer, didn't you? So I guess to be fair, that's probably all the hammers. Um, Don't hurt him. <laughs> hammer, 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 hammer. <laughs> no. My girl's shorty. That's for you. You guys are both welcome for that, by the way. Oh, I gotta hate yeah. you. Okay. Um, oh God. Times are yeah, I know. I'm, I'm about oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, flail. Mm. None of us. I had flail. one more. I was like, oh god, I only really got one in my head. It was gonna be a machete from Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, that fucking been a Jason good one. uses that to kill everybody with. That'd have been a good one. Okay. All right, so category you then. Yes. Winner. Big winner. Oh, right. chicken dinner. Winner, winner. Uh, we're going to go with modes of transportation. Mm. Uh, from a game, not like a racing game, like something you might ride or take from point A to point B in a game. And the reason no racing game is because you're just kind of going in a circle. Is that yeah. I mean? Or you're, Car. I mean, because you're not really advancing. You're not really going. Advancing to a yeah. specific. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. And besides, all we have to do is say cars from racing games, and then be done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah. The brown car, the blue car, you know. So I'm going to start off with a horse yeah. from, name that game, yeah. uh, from WoW, from Skyrim, from every game ever. Okay. I'm going to go with the bicycle from Paperboy. Oh, oh that's right. I like it. Uh, so bicycles are eliminated, so you can't say like, you know, Dave Mira BMX racing or something like that. I would say, yeah. Okay. He's got bikes covered. Um, let's do like a Chocobo. Mm, nice. From obviously Final Fantasy. Maybe using this one too early, but the jet ski from fucking Battletoads. <laughs> oh, oh god! The, wow, the, the fucking that eliminates all the jet skis, so as to take all your answers away. <laughs> Damn it! Now I can't do what was that jet ski game? Wave Runner. Yeah. Wave Runner. Yeah. I'll go with the Turtle Van from Ninja Turtles. Mm. Mm. Let's do. <laughs> I won't blow your minds on this one. Let's do an inner tube from Tubin. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> Actually, it's a good game. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'm gonna go with the airship from Wow. Sure. I'll go skateboard once again from Simpsons. Good All right. Travel. Um, you said wow, and now my head's stuck there, so I have to go like uh, the Kodo. Ah. Huh. From wow. Okay. I think we should eliminate all mounts. Wow mounts. Mount, wow mounts at this point. Because yeah, because I think it, like, Ashes of Alar. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Oh, God, that's a good mount. I actually preferred the little uh, Scarab guys. Oh. Those things were the coolest fucking mount. Um, so, whatever. From uh, the, Encourage. Oh, is that yeah. the one you had to, like... Well, you could, I had a bunch of those mounts, but there's only yeah, that one per one. server yeah. that was fucking insane. So, yeah, anyway, we, we, got, uh, we got way way off tax on that one. <laughs> um, I don't want to use this one too early, but I'm going to. Cannon from Secret of Mana. Ah, the cannon. I don't know why I thought of this one. The ice cream truck from Sweet Tooth in Twisted Metal. <laughs> <laughs> so, should that el- eliminate all... Ice cream trucks. No. I, yes. <laughs> I would say all <laughs> Twisted Metal references. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's fair, yeah. Um, well, let's go um, motorcycle from uh, Excite Bike. How about the whale moonship from uh, Final Fantasy II? The whale moonship, wow. Um, I uh, don't know what that is. You so ride a whale and it goes down there. I'm just going to trust you on that one. Is it, was it a big whale? I think it was, I mean, technically, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, let's go the dragon in... Final Fantasy, I think it's five. Five has got the the dragon that you fly around on. Noise. Um, fucking cars from Grand Theft Auto. Okay, uh, not, that covers not a the cars. Game. Uh, boat from Final Fantasy one. Mm. Just a regular boat. Boats and hose or just boats? Just a boat. Okay. <laughs> boats. <laughs> the uh, helicopter Battlefield four. Oh. Or let's do planes from Battlefield 4. Why not? I'm Get going to eliminate tanks from Battlefield 4. <laughs> uh, d- Jeeps. Okay. Uh, that's... So now we're going to go uh, Battlefield 4 because we could do also trucks. Bands. Yeah, I would say Battlefield, yeah, 4, yeah, Battlefield is 4, is 4 is gone. Yeah. Um, let's do um, mopeds. From <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. I, are, are, we, are we Grand Theft Autoing it too? Probably. Yeah, probably. Because okay. now we can just go trucks, vans, cars. Yeah. yeah. The Warthog from Halo. Ooh, the Warthog. Teleportation from Star Ocean. Mmm. Nice. Let's go. Uh, Silt Striders from Mario. Ah, that's a cool one. Um. The ba- I'm going to go Banshee from Halo. Mm. You need to play Halo. Granted, those are the two vehicles in Halo, so yeah. it kind of eliminates it. Airplanes 
<laughs> I already said planes. But did you say planes? From Battlefield. <laughs> what the, oh, oh fuck yeah! I was, I was thinking I was thinking like commercial airplanes and not like like, <laughs> like a seven forty seven. Yeah, I was, like, I was thinking like from Sim Airplane or something. I think there's there's Aerobiz. Aerobiz. That's what there's it was. Sim Airplane. Yeah, there is. It's Aerobiz. I knew there was one. But <laughs> what year did that come out? Sim Airplane. <laughs> it was Aero. It was Aerobiz. Was the fucking because I know years so well. No, I meant like you know Sim City two thousand. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's do. Uh, so since we've counted out all the stuff from Grand Theft Auto, does that mean we can't use any vehicle that was in Grand Theft Auto? I I don't care because I was gonna use like like trucks from Super Off Road. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Uh, the hang gliders from Pilot Wings. Uh, yeah, I remember that game. I don't. I was like the one of the launch title for sixty four. I mean, it was a really early title. I play a lot more than one on Super Nintendo. Oh, they're both oh, really cool. Pilot though. Wings is. That's crazy. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? It's kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> I play it like once. Like, nope. Can we do? Uh, does the cape from Mario count? I guess you're not riding it. How about the boot from Mario? You're riding that. I could guess. I'll, I'll, <laughs> no, it's I'll, 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 I'll give you the boot. The boot. Sure. You're actually in it. Yeah. Okay. I will say the cape does give you. I would. I would count on the cape too, personally. It's it's a power up. It's not a, an it's not a mode of transportation because then you could just say okay, then it would be like the power wing, your wings, right. your angel wings, right? Or the wings for Icarus. Does a boot count, or should I? I pick oh, another I think one? boot's good. Okay. Boot's fine. You saw that. Uh, we'll do the wings for Icarus count. Are we counting flight? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. Like it, the wings and so, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, that. cool. Let's do the uh, rocket ship from Mario too. That is a total good one there. Well, it's a mode of transportation, so why not the warp pipe? Ah, oh, nice there you go. Let's do, we're ready for this? Under Rush for Mega Man. Ooh, good call. Good that's call. very good. <laughs> okay, here's what I've been laughing about. <laughs> uh, the jetpack from the Rocketeer. Damn it. That's a you, good one. You could have went Duke Nukem. Because you killed Duke Nukem. Yep. Um, I'm just happy that I used the Rocketeer. The fucking Rocketeer. That was Terrible. a shit movie. Yeah, it wasn't a good game, just for those... Let's do oh, four people who played it. <laughs> um, what about skis from Free Ski? Is that what it was called? Ski Free. Ski Free. Yeah. yeah. Hoverboard from Back to the Future. Oh, cock balls. Uh, rollerblades from we'll just do fucking Streets of Rage too. A little black kid had rollerblades on. Yeah, he did. He did. Um, hmm. <laughs> there you go. Sure. Surfboard TNC surf design. Nice. Fuck you. That was a good one. Uh, I don't have a good one. I don't have a good one. Oh, thank God. Because I was trying. I was. I was too busy thinking about what everybody said. Because as soon as you said TNC surface, my mind was, "Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I got nothing! I got nothing!" So we went warp pipe. I was thinking warp whistle. Oh, warp whistle would have been good. Damn it. Oh. And then the uh, neither of us thought of that. The fucking flute from Zelda. What about fucking the hot air balloon? Do you travel around that, or is it just the, the the little guy that travels around that? The little guy that comes out and gives you the map. Oh, ne- n- we didn't say Griffin. Oh, we eliminate all of Wow, didn't we? Yeah, because Wow, Wow, well, you can yeah, dragon. This kind of dragon, that kind of dragon. Every, so many games have dragons. So we ran out at the same time. I just it happened on my turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck. that was a uh, uh, a fortunate happiness thing because I'm like uh. Fuck. If he says anything, I'm fucking gonna have to kill myself. I cannot believe you said jet. That was the one I was saving. Jetpack from Duke Nukem. And you fuck. How did I you was, steal it on the Rocketeer? Too? I was saving yeah. that for a while. I laughed to myself like, huh, I remember that game. That was so terrible. As soon as you said jetpack, I was like, fuck, he's gonna say Duke Nukem. Then you said Rocketeer. I was like, you cock. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so Brian took both those points. Look at you. What yeah, a, what, what a, a prick. I know. I'm a fucking asshole. You're I not am. getting all three of these, bitch. I know. This is guess <laughs> that game. I, if I get a point, I'll be fucking stoked. Uh, are we doing uh, we do the, the debate first? Or is it guess that game, jackass? Oh, that was a debate first. Thank you, right. I fucking forgot. Uh, whatever. It's, it's Let's debate. do the debate first. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. debate. Boom! Devil's Advocate. Yeah, it's Devil's debate. Advocate. <laughs> I fucking forgot. All right, so uh, you go first, then. Okay. See so if you guys can handle this. We Ooh. all play shooters. Mm-hmm. What is more infuriating... When you die, getting a fucking asshole guy who's gonna stand up in a legend and snipe you and never come down, 
or the guy who just hides in one spot the whole entire time, time like a camper, you come around and then kills you there. Sniper. All right. The reason everybody hates snipers. I mean, sniping is a legitimate part of the game. I understand that. But there will always be that one guy who finds, like, the perfect fucking spot, and it's and it's instantaneous. As soon as you, as soon as you spawn, walk up, like, I'm going to go get that guy. Nope, you're fucking dead. It's like, oh, there goes my teammate. Go, let's cover that. Person. Nope, he's fucking dead. And there's no warning or no way to really play against it. Yeah, you can find cover and that kind of thing, but he's also got grenades, too. So if you find any kind of cover, he's going to throw a grenade. You're like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm fucking safe. He's like, nope, fucking grenade, rains grenades down on you. It's just so fucking infuriating because you, you're you just now getting back into the mode of the game after he's already killed you the first time. And he's got like a 27 kill streak, so he's fucking raining. It's Call of Duty or something, so I'm sure he's got dogs or fucking mortar strikes or nuclear bombs or whatever the fuck they have now in Call of Duty games. But it's like, whenever he gets on a streak like that and it's just, there's nothing you can do. You're just pinned down the entire game and you can't even begin a mount of comeback. I will say, sniping and camping are kind of one and the same. However, there's one factor. Sniping, especially on a console, takes skill. Sitting in a bush with an SMG waiting for you to come around the corner, that takes no fucking skill. Placing a claymore in the hallway and sitting in the corner watching it go off and just having your pistol ready waiting for that person to have 90% damage and you to put the last bullet in it, that takes no fucking skill. Somebody sitting in a corner is not playing the game the way it's meant to be played, which is sniping. They're playing the game just to get kills, just to get that kill streak that you were talking about. And I can't fucking stand that. If you're going to sit, like, if you imagine going to war and just, like, hiding in a bush and, like, watching 14 people run past you and then finally picking the one guy who's out in the middle of nowhere and going, <laughs> you know, that's fucking stupid. Okay. Uh, really, both really good, because at the end of the day, we play a lot of shooter games, and both those people need to both die in a fire. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If uh, you don't use an assault rifle, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I'm just saying, like, they're both they're both terrible. I'm going to go with JJ. Woo! <laughs> I fucking Fair. won one! Um, God damn it. The, the, the skill point's a big one, and I'm really, in my head, was thinking consoles, and it is hard to snipe uh, in consoles. and With the scope. It is. It's not hard to no scope. It's it's well back in the day when no scope yeah. was a very viable thing. You know, it just I think both are terrible. But I agree that maybe the intention of the game is more frustrating because that person's kind of ruining the fun. Right. Ha. Fair enough. Eat my wiener. <laughs> I actually, actually about that was actually a, a well argued. But like you, your argument was was just legitimately better than mine on that one. Yeah. You're goddamn right. It was. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to be fucking humble. You're like you fucking dick. <laughs> you suck my uh, dick. Speaking uh, of... Uh, no, I was showing a game the point. Not <laughs> right? your gloating prick. Uh, I'm just being a douche. Uh, speaking of eating dick, you ready for this one? <laughs> All right. Who Eat would dick. win Who would win in an eating contest? Kirby or Yoshi? Yoshi? All right. Guess. Okay, so I, I don't really know about Kirby's capacity. I know he sucks a lot, but Yoshi can eat anything. It could be a spiny fucking beast. You know, it could be a Lakitu, it could be a turtle, it could be a power-up, it could be a pine nut, it doesn't fucking matter what he's eating. He takes everything, and not to mention, he just gets some really cool power-ups, so who knows? Maybe he eats the right thing, and it's going to give him like 17 stomachs. He could be like a fucking cow. I don't know. But I've never seen the guy stop eating. He doesn't expand either. He stays the same size despite how much you eat. The whole game, you ride him. He eats everything in sight, every piece of food, every fruit, every creature, regardless of size, and he never grows. He's like the fucking, uh, the Kaz guy, the guy who eats all the fucking hot dogs. His stomach doesn't get all grotesque. He just sits there, eats it, everything. Cows do have 17 stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> they have four. That's not the point. Joey Chestnut, is that who you're looking for? With the, the no, the, the Japanese guy. Joey Chestnut, when he eats a bunch of hot dogs, he's, he's his stomach poochy. looks oh, disgusting. He just ate 70 hot dogs. Oh, he's so an amazing like man, no doubt. I'm jealous. But no, uh, Kirby, I actually, I think Kirby's a much better eater than, than Yoshi because... He, you, you, you argued his capacity. I don't think he has a capacity. I've seen him eat Donkey Kong. <laughs> He's actually eating Donkey Kong. And then all he, when he eats people, he can actually do useful things with them. He gains powers from it. And he also spits out stars. Yoshi spits out eggs out of his asshole. <laughs> the stars you can actually hit people with and do damage with. And it's a secondary ability. Also, if you're playing Smash Brothers 2, the suicide eat is like the best fucking thing in the entire game. You jump off and you fucking eat and then you hit your down key really fast before they can fucking jump out. So you get the double... You get the, the suicide kill, which is honestly... It's awesome, especially if you've got two more lives, and then you just walk off with that. But also eating, like, Link, you get his boomerang. That's fucking OP. Uh, just all... The, the stars, too. I mean, like... <laughs> see, I just didn't play many Kirby games. But so Smash Brothers, he fucking eats everybody, spits out stars, and takes powers. 
I I like what you did, pandering to me, but you didn't Wait, really I'm, talk I'm... about how much he could eat. <laughs> you talked about suicide. He ate Donkey Kong. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. wow. Uh, you're like he gets stars, <laughs> <laughs> but he can get the downward kill. Dude, the downward kill was awesome, though. <laughs> I was doing my best not to laugh it in the microphone. <laughs> I just said stars like twelve times. Stars. That was awesome because I didn't know what they did in the uh, regular Kirby games. They didn't really do a whole lot in Smash. You said they did damage. I just took your word for it. <laughs> No fucking clue. I think they did damage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was good, though. That was good. I thought that was fun. Oh. All right. That's a creative question, by the way. You're welcome. Gotta All right, say. so now now we're going to... The serious question of the, of no, the day. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. I'm not getting fucked by Luigi. No. <laughs> I Well, no, not by Luigi. I'm not blowing a zombie. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh. Okay, so in all seriousness... If you if you were sexually assaulted no, by great. by this Street Fighter character, and you had to explain it to people around you, whether it be the authorities <laughs> or your family, what? Who would you rather explain, Zangief or Dalsim? Uh, Zangief. You go fuck. <laughs> <laughs> at least I can say, look at this big motherfucker in a diaper. He just tried to rape me. He's massive. He overpowered me. I couldn't do anything about it. He's fucking Russian. <laughs> what do you do against a big fucking muscly Russian? He tried to power bomb me or whatever that fucking tornado spinny thing he did, and he trapped me at the bottom of it and molested me. Did you say molested or raped? I, I think it was sexually <laughs> assaulted, but I think I think a rape would he be. He sexually the... assaulted me, <laughs> and there was nothing I could do about it. That seems like four pounds. Yeah, he can reach you further, but that's about it. I'm going to get away from a little Indian guy. It's like Gandhi, except with fire. <laughs> hey, Gandhi changed nations. All Zanky does look like a bear. If I'm going to get fucked by somebody, I don't look like the guy who actually... Okay, Zangi looks like a bear. You know, the gay bear. So he actually kind of fits the lifestyle, so maybe it's kind of saying something about you. You know, Dalzine, he does breathe fire. He's got really long legs. He's he limbs. He's a lot stronger than he looks. He's a foreign. He's creepy. I don't know if he's carrying that diaper. Maybe he's got a gun. Maybe he's got a shiv. I don't know. He smells like curry and he's creepy. He may be able to wrap his arms because they go really long and stretch around me. I can't fight that. And he could be, you know, it's like Gandhi. Could you hurt Gandhi? I mean, obviously, yes. Indian people thought they could. <laughs> but the point is, I think that'd be wrong, you know? I mean, uh, he's he's a peaceful man and... And he raped me. <laughs> the peaceful rapist. <laughs> yeah. That was just. There's no chance. I got. I got no chance. I. I do. I do give it to JJ on this yeah. one. Well, I would hope so. Well, not. A, it's he argued more the. The I think the actual argument <laughs> itself. I, I think. I think you're just saying creepy things about Dalzim. He, he smells like. Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I don't know what I was supposed to say for Dalzim. Oh, he smells like curry. Oh. That's racist. Okay, uh, enough of that. Um, now we want to guess that game, Jackass. Jackass? The game where I actually have a chance to get points. You jackass. I don't have any yet. Oh. You don't? No, I have no, no points yet. Oh. I suck the bags of two? two? It's three and two. All right. Well, fuck you. You guys both need to get points, and then therefore you tie break, and I win. Ah. I mean, you got to get one, though. No, there's only eight points. We have only eight points. Eight points now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're not doing the uh, last one. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. My strategy's paid off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's paying off currently. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I won. The yes. Last one. So I'll be going first. Um, my game was a Nintendo game, an NES game. Okay. So the original Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> okay. And not necessarily developed the NES. by Nintendo. Just, just it was on the original Nintendo. Yes. Okay. The Famicom. Uh, the Famicom. If oh, you're Japanese. Sweet. I know what it is now. <laughs> um, this is kind of a platformer. That's my first clue. Okay. Note the word kind of. Two words, kind of? Well, hyphenated word, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we need to know this. Okay, yeah. sure. If I was completely different, I, I thought it was completely different if that was one word. Um, so we're good. Yeah. So obviously, there's a oh, thousand kind of platforms. Platform. Oh, it's that one game. <laughs> yeah. I played that one um, time. I say it was kind of, this is, this is clue two. I say it was kind of a platformer because it had specific level numbers that you advanced to once you cleared level one, then two, then three. Say that again? You had platforming that you did. You jumped around on platforms. Sure. But there were specific levels. Level one, once you cleared level one, you went on to level two. Once you cleared two, you went to three, and it went on. 
okay, I think. Okay. You understand, right? Yeah, and I actually have a game of mine. I just can't think of the name of it. But, like, a... go ahead. I mean, I'm not going to guess. There's no way in hell I'm guessing. Okay. This game, this might go quick. <laughs> this is a game where your characters are dragons, and they kill things with bubbles. Bubble, bubble. bubble. Oh, Andrew got beat it him. first, yeah. Woo! You know the thing is, and I and I was, I during we, we took a little bit of a break there. Oh, shit. The thing that I just did is I fucked myself. Yeah. Because now I can't win. Yep. <laughs> I knew, and I was like, you know, I want to point out the fact that I can't, I can't win. I need to throw this game, and then I just didn't throw the game. <laughs> your your competitive side got the best. Of it you. did. It did. I, like, I honestly I say, because the reason I couldn't win is because they need to tie and go through a tiebreaker. And for you to get the loss. To win because yeah. I'm not going to get enough points to... I guess technically I could still, at this point... No, I can't. Cause I can't no, you can time me. You can't get your own point. No. Yeah. Well, balls. So, you have three, I have two, he has one now? So, I, oh, I can still win. I can still win. No, no, I can't. No, no I you can't, can't win. Because, yeah, you can't win. You can get a maximum of two points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... I mean, can you guys tie at three, though? We can tie at three if you get a second point. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I can still. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah, you still can't win. Oh, we're fucking, fucking ma- loophole. We're that's not, right. Damn. We're fucking not Asian. Because that's just eight. Three, three, and two. We're definitely <laughs> struggling on that one. Fucking math. Uh, so you win. You get I, to go. Hooray. Hot damn. Fuck yeah. All right. So the game I have in mind is a series of games. It's been over several platforms. Okay. And it has been modified a couple of times in different iterations. So that's okay. just kind of the setup for the game. Okay. okay. Now the traditionally, the, my first clue is traditionally it's isometric, top down, essentially. Okay. We got that. We good. Mm-hmm. Clue number two is the main protagonist of your game is notoriously hungry. From a top down, notoriously hungry. Notoriously oh. hungry. No, that's not that. That's not that. Fuck, it's like, I feel like I should know it, but... Me too. That seems like it would be very, very, like, narrowing. It's <laughs> a series of games. <clears throat> Notoriously hungry? Notoriously hungry. Notorious. <laughs> no, no. Notorious. He was pretty hungry, dude. He's a big dude. I, I, I don't have it. No, I don't. His main nemesis is our ghosts. Pac-Man. Yep. Oh. oh. Wow, those were good clues, dude. Those were. Wow. Yeah, because I was not thinking Pac-Man 3D at all when you said he's notorious. Because I thought of Pac-Man, but I was like... Because there was like a 3D, and I think there was like a couple wow. other fucking random There ones were some too. weird ones. Yeah. There was like the one where you had like the hang glider and shit. There was like a side, he had like a, mm-hmm. I think it was like a platformer, actually. Wow, that was a good one. I like that. Well, Andrew, you got to get this point. Okay, I'll just do that. Because if you get this point, we have a tie. Oh, you have to get this point for I you to, to win. I have to get the point for you guys to tie to, for me to have a chance. Have a chance at winning, yes. So if you get this point, you have a chance of winning. Uh, we all have a chance of winning. Yes. If I get this point, I win. Correct. Ha! Gay! Ha! Gay! Okay. All right. I'm going to go with the uh, the obvious, uh, actually, genre statement. It's on many different systems. Okay. Are we looking for a series? Uh, yeah. Okay. Any game the series will do. Okay. okay. It's a fighting game. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not good at fighting. I mean, I, I'm not good at fighting games. I don't do a ton of them, but we'll, we'll go. I'm sure I've... They made a movie from it. <laughs> Fucker. I was getting ready to say something. I was like, no, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm almost gonna go. I mean, I almost want to go now because there's a like a fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. Do you sack up and go, or do you wait? I'll wait because it'd be more exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get the tape ready on this one. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Finish him. Mortal Kombat. Ah, boom. Got it. Woo! I'm gonna get a wreck on it. The victory. All right. So you win. I win. I yep. thought we had more to do, but we don't because we, we don't have another game. We don't have another game. And I was almost kind of in like my mind preparing for a tiebreaker. Not that yeah. I was thought I was gonna get the point, but I'm like, oh, we got to do a tiebreaker. Fuck yeah. And then nope. All right. So um, O'Brien brought a retro game. Yes. Uh, we since none of us played, 
uh, or no, I'm sorry, none of us won two episodes ago, and Andrew wasn't here last episode. We thought it would be fair that uh, Andrew did one, and yes. then I did one because of the tie, and it would just be O'Brien's turn. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. I'm excited. Very sad. Very sad. We've actually used the, uh, one of the bad guys several times when we did a link to last to kind of stump people. A Bobo. <laughs> uh, this no, game is really might be the progenitor of beat em ups. Oh, yeah. Double Dragon. Oh, yeah. Side scroller beat em ups. This is where it started, kids. I played so much of this game. And not only did it side scroll beat em up, it had that really cool, like, uh, fighting segment where you could. Yeah, you could like it was a, it was a fighting game where right. you fought like as a Bobo or Billy or Jimmy or whoever else, and you could fight each other. Right, there weren't really that many fighting games. If you think about that as a fighting game portion, that's something it did that no other beat 'em up did. No, the one thing and I, I'm gonna have the least knowledge on this game because that was not before my time. I played it. I played a little bit. I think one and two maybe. Um, the one thing that I do remember that was always the thing that you always tried to fucking do was the spin kick thing. Yeah, I don't know how you did it. I I mean because I was like. Six or four, was it or A and some... B at the same time. A and B at the same time. Oh, was it? Yeah. okay. So I guess it was really fucking complicated. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> you're just to put retarded. In... Yeah, I was. I was. I was, a, I was a slow kid. <laughs> but no, I just I, you always would try to do. They didn't like take your health or something like that to do it. Or no, I, no. I, thought, I thought there was like some sort of downfall to doing the spin mm-hmm. kick. No, so, no. It's probably why I didn't get very far in the game. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Was it was four. good. It was the move that you used when you were surrounded. Yes. Yeah, I was four years old playing Double Dragon and slow. And it's and not an easy do, game. That was a game. bad game for a little kid because it was the later levels were fucking brutal. Yeah, yeah. the the thing that I the thing that I find interesting about Double Dragon is you could just pick up like weapons. Oh my god! You throw a fucking oil drums, barrels, and it was a cool thing about it is boxes. Yeah, back then. Like, there weren't a lot of games that allowed you to pick up the environment yes, and use yeah. them as weapons. You a little sandboxy I mean? where you could take yeah. everything you had, like the whips and the chain. Now, the early one pissed me off because every time you leave a section, you fucking just drop yeah, your weapon. you'd lose your weapon. Oh, the later yeah, ones, you that. got to keep them, which actually, right. the, you know, we discussed when we were talking about what my game would be. I actually remember the third one a lot because the third one was what well, was really hard, but it had really cool music and it's... The story was a little bit better. The stories were terrible in all of them. Oh, Nintendo <laughs> games. I mean, what not all do? of them had really good stories. No, but like, there's this very really few. cool, like, uh, secret underwater lair thing. And it was just, I don't know, it was a really cool way to do something. They got really creative on the weapons. Yeah. The, was three the one where you, like, you were, I don't know why I remember this. There was, like, a jungle level and you were, like, climbing vines on rocks. Or was that two? I think that actually is three. Is that three? Two is the one we were talking about. I think it's the dojo one. It's a two. Okay, that's the dojo one. But, I mean, you look at King of Fighters, Streets of Rage, all those games don't happen if you don't have Double Dragon. Well, Battletoads. And, and, and uh, to even go a little further in the future, like the, the Simpsons arcade game or the X-Men arcade game, which were huge arcade games. Oh, those, yeah. That's what I played more of. Right. Uh, the Avengers like, arcade game. Those were just total, oh, God, Captain America and the Avengers. Good well, game. That was a good game. But as soon as you said X-Men, I remember playing the X-Men game on Sega. Oh god, it was you could, so like, bad. Beat Nightcrawler and Gambit and uh, it was Nightcrawler, Gambit, Cyclops, Cyclops Wolverine. Wolverine, and then you could summon all the fucking random people. The game was so bad. Yeah, it was not good. The random, the other people like Storm and shit were like power ups. Yeah, yeah. Use Ice Man, he fucking like made you a path. Like thanks. Yeah, like, that's all. I was like, I was always Nightcrawler because I could teleport between walls, like through walls. Yeah. And shit. Oh yeah. Anyway, you yeah. said that and made me think of it. But yeah, it's 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 the father of all beat em ups, and I yes. think that's like you know, it did make games after that. It made one on Genesis. It has Super Nintendo. It had one on Sega CD. I think they may have gone beyond that, but you think about it, it's a series that it just kind of died. Well, it was uh, platformers did too, and we'll beat them up. kind of did too. Yeah. If you think about it. It just I think like we talk about games. We say you should go back and experience or play this. Once again, we always go back to that age range, fifteen or twenty or whatever. If you're twenty right now, you were born pretty much when it was almost dead. Time you were five or six, like when you played the first yeah. one. That game had been gone for years. Right. Your parents were going buying you an old system to play this game. And something that I just just now had the thought of, I mean, you guys mentioned that it was, I mean, I remember whenever I was younger, you know, not knowing a ton about video games when I'm, you know, four, five, six, the names that stuck out to me, Mario, Zelda, Link, whatever, and Double Dragon. Yep. Now, I didn't know the characters' names necessarily back in the day, but Double Dragon was a, how is that not made a comeback in some sort of, like, like Smash Bros? Why, are Smash, why, why can't you play them in Smash Bros.? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I mean, just shit like that. I mean, like that—that that would be an easy thing. They—they they could have become an iconic, you know, Nintendo pseudo character. You know, a pseudo high level character. They were I guess. Jimmy and Billy, Billy baby. And Jimmy. I guess they, they were back in the day. Save their girlfriend. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Shadow Clan. Who was it? Is it a Bobo? Carried her off over his shoulder. In the yeah, first after the one. guy, yeah, after yeah. like grabbed her or whatever. The, the the boss fights were pretty good too in that. 
Yeah, they, they were. were fucking hard. The whole oh game God. was hard. We're talking. We're talking. We're not talking like Mega Man hard. Well, I don't know. The platforming parts were brutal. The platforming parts were brutal because they were terrible. Well, it was so hard because a lot of times if you had to jump further, you had to do a jump kick. Right. So you had to hit A, hit your B to, to move over to a jump kick, and you had to time it, and it was just not very. It was well clunky. Friendly. And the collision detection on the little platforms you had to jump on was not very good. So sometimes you'd fall through the side of the platform. It got better. Yeah, it definitely. Did. It We're got talking about better. the first one. Yeah, it was awful. The music was good too. <sighs> I actually liked it. And granted, it's so many of those Nintendo games. I just liked the music on because once again, yeah, it's cool that Skyrim has a fucking you know orchestra, orchestra and all that stuff. But a lot of these newer games, they just find real music or just find whatever that's easy. It's a fucking dude in a Casio just doing a MIDI file. That was hard because <laughs> he had to pull that out of his ass. He yeah. had to literally create that. Yeah, there's nothing that directed a person to do Mega Man's music. You know. I think think of I mean that's kind of the that's kind of the father of any game that had just a big burly badass as the main character too. I mean I'm trying honestly trying to think of one because Mario had plumbers, Pitfall was just a guy in a hat. <laughs> like think uh, how many <laughs> guys you think you think about just like manly men or whatever. yeah how many manly men came before Double Dragon? I'm sure they're out there. Sure, there's a lot of there are some beat 'em ups on it like bad dudes or I mean how many guys had headbands though? <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> There were guys that came out in that same era. Just the success of, of Double Dragon really carried through for like a genre for like maybe seven, eight years. Beat 'em ups were a staple game for the the eight bit and the sixteen yeah. bit generation. Yeah, and it was Double Dragon was the king. Yeah, everybody played Double Dragon. It was kind of the fifth generation. It just they just kind of went away, probably because beat 'em ups don't exist anymore because nobody wants to play a two D scroller on a three D system. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the only thing I can think of. Fun or multiplayer, and the later ones. The first one you had to take turns. Yeah. Later on, you could do it. But the fighting, the fighting part of it was actually really cool. It was like you had these really long ass fucking energy bars, and you could run past it because the screen wasn't just a block stage. It was actually a longer stage. You could actually run through and right. and, and zone through. It's like you know how you run into people and jump kick. It wasn't the. It wasn't like a good fighting game. <laughs> it was, but for this time, I mean, it was, it was no was something kung I've never fu. Seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard game too, dude. Yeah, it was. Fucking bees. Fucking bees. <laughs> Those fucking bees kill you all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. The the thing that... In, in this goes kind of to what Andrew was saying. You don't really think about them being as an, an iconic Nintendo character or group of characters. But I remember playing Battletoads. And when it was Battletoads versus Double Dragon or Battletoads and Double Dragon... And they were because they were both against the, the both of the enemies. That I was like, oh, the fucking... Oh, Double dragons sight. in this game. You that, know what I mean? Honestly, I don't even remember that game. Yeah, Battletoads and Double Dragon. They made a they made a game together. Same company made both games. That's and, fucking cool. And they cool. just merged the yeah. IP and they used both bad guys. It's the same fucking game. Oh yeah, except I mean, for the the Wave Runner part. Yeah. That's about it. But it was just neat to be able to play alongside the turtles or the turtles, the frogs, mm-hmm. as the main characters. And you're that's fucking cool. When you think about it, I I remember having like a fucking mini game gasm over the fact that. The the fucking Double Dragon was going to be in the Battletoads game. The Battletoads game. Yeah, most fucking... people now are like, Double Dragon? Yeah. What's a Toad? What's a Toad? Yeah, I don't know. That, like that was a thing where you called GameStop, right? Yeah, is that right? Battletoads, yeah. That was a good game, too, by the way. Yeah, it was just like, I, I, I guess if you're looking for a game to like tell people to go and play. I'm not saying it's going to blow their mind, but it's a whole genre of games that just not played anymore. Yeah. It just, just like it didn't exist. Like it didn't happen. And unlike... Uh, Mega Man, which was just infuriating from the beginning, or Ninja Gaiden, which was just infuriating from the beginning. This Double Dragon was the game where you were like, oh, I got this. And I it get felt it. fun the whole time. And then three levels in, you got guys fucking stabbing you with knives, and you're like, motherfucker! You could never keep enough energy. Then there'd be an abobo, and then there'd be two abobos, there'd be three abobos, and you're yeah. like, holy fuck, I can't kill these guys. Right. Because you almost so, had to jump kick them. Yeah, it got progressively harder and harder and harder. And then it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, you don't remember that hard part? Now you're going to platform. Yeah, and now <laughs> jump over these pits. You know what I mean? And enjoy that no continues. Yes. And that's enjoy every it. Nintendo game ever. Yeah, but these are the, like, like a lot of them, like like Mario. Contra. Had Mario, three you die, continues. but you start off at like 4-1 if you're on 4-3. Right. So you you, you didn't get There's a like continue. Point at least. Exactly. And this one's just like, that's cool. You almost got to the final boss. Here's the beginning screen. Right. And uh, bend over now. That was that was a lot of Nintendo games that, it that was. were known to be hard. Those were the ones where you're like, 
tough shit. Yep. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, at least Mega Man you let you keep alive. Didn't it let you keep boo, boo, boo. The, the bosses you had been Well, you, you get a code. You, you get, get a code. code. Yeah. 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 Get the codes code. are kind of ridiculous, too, because I remember having like a grid and you had like fucking, I made a grid. red circles and blue circles. Yeah. And you yeah. write all these codes. Like for all those games, you write them down yeah. and you had to fucking save them. And the thing is, if you missed of codes. one fucking uppercase, lowercase letter yeah. and you were fucked. Well, think of every book that you have in any current game now. Every single one has a note section. Nobody has used them. Not since we were kids. And yeah. you know why? Because you don't have to anymore. That note section was for codes. That was for writing shit down. Or if you, you figure out how to remember. be boss. You know, I actually never use a note section. Personally. I did all the time. I used I every used, one of my used, books used, was written like, in piece of paper. I never yeah. wrote the books. I don't like to write. If books. you learned how to do something, there wasn't an internet, yeah. so you went into those note section. Now it's like it's the note section you just see see internet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See to interwebs. Yeah, for That's all a good game, concerns. Though. I wonder why it's not as iconic as it. I mean, you, you see what my point is. Absolutely, because that, I mean, that like, and I never thought about that until we had this discussion. Is like that would have been an easy secondary character. I mean, I know their names are you know Billy and Jimmy or whatever. I mean, it's just, but you could bring them back in a Smash Brothers, you know, something. I mean, they bring in the Wii Fit girl. Well, so why why, why not? Yeah, do an updated version of it because the thing is like Nintendo with all their originality and the way they make games fun, regardless of the game. Why don't they just resurrect it? And it, honestly, it fits into their current their current meta of games that they're you know they're making. I mean, yeah. the, with the, the kind of like less skill, you know, more fun kind of thing, you could do a generic little beat 'em up and make mm-hmm. it you know super hard. If you it wouldn't even have to be a side scroller. No, it was also one of the first games that was actually kind of violent. If you think about it, like when it came out in '87, like yeah, Mario is there's you, violence in Mario, but there's you, not knives. You stomp on things and, and there's turtles and they're there things that don't exist. Turtles. Yeah, you know, like Goombas and. Link, you're killing a ghost or a right. pig creature. You're not... Most of those games, it was fantasy creatures. This is one where somebody's got your chick, and you're going to go out there and stab these It's a human stabbing another human. Yes, or beating him with a bat or a Kick whip him in the face. or whatever. And yeah. those ones that got the whips from, which whips was the an chicks. awesome weapon, were chicks. Yeah. You're beating them bitches. Yeah, you are. That's why I, do, I mean. That's why I do in my normal time. You know, I'm why like, why can't this be real life? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is that a bitch over there? I'm gonna go be here real quick. Her. If I get a whip, I might. I'll be back, honey. You need anything? Yeah, get some milk. Okay, I'm gonna go beat this bitch real quick. You know? And steal her whip, of course. <laughs> and steal her. Yeah, whip. I will beat more bitch. God, I was like, wham! Fuck that jump kick. You know, linked to the last, we never said whips from Double Dragon. No, we linked whips like two or three times. All the we, whips we in Road whip. Rash are basically Double Dragon. Weapons. Yeah, chains, we whips, knives. We said whips from Devo. <laughs> <laughs> when I problem comes along. Hey, that's probably in, like, Rock Band. That probably would have worked. You know, uh, he's the art guy on Yo Gabba Gabba? Yeah. Mark I didn't know that. Well. I didn't know that. I, I, oh, soon as I, I, I knew that. As soon as I saw I him, I was that. like, that's fucking Devo. Yeah, actually, the guy who does it to Aquabats is, like, his buddy and one of the guys oh, on really? Aquabats. Yeah, he's, like, they've done child programming. Mark Rosenball has, like, a company that does, like, uh, interactive child that. stuff. I saw him, and I was like, I was like, Erica, do you know who that is? And she goes... The drawing guy. For all of you normal people who have not don't have children, <laughs> uh, I'll talk about tits or something like that. It's something you would actually be interested in. I was like, "That's the fucking lead singer, Devo," and she goes, "Who?" <laughs> so those girls, oh, those guys, wow. she's got some really awesome tits. I mean, they're really nice and perky. Are you talking about my wife? No, that's fucking weird. She's my cousin. <laughs> so anyway, back to Double Dragon. We got on Yo Gabba Gabba and Devo for a second. That's right. That's that was it. your fault. Yeah, you prick. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> Nintendo, if you're listening to this. Bring Double bring Dragon shit back. back. It's not even Nintendo product. It's Capcom. They could bring it back, man. But it, was it is it, was it a, a a second party thing? Like Nintendo had the rights to it, or I don't think so. Capcom, what the fuck are you doing? Put what them in the next Double May Cry game. Put a, a put a fucking <laughs> before you make Mega Man X forty five LV, yeah. you just make fucking Double Dragon. Yes, like five. They could that that's a game. That's another an idea. That's a game that they should have came out in the arcade with. Double Dragon? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It may have been. I'm not sure. May have I been. I never played it in the, in the arcade. I have to, I'd be shocked if it was. And also, too, uh, all the like Marvel versus Capcom fighting games? Yeah. Why could you be them in those? Sure, why not? It's true. Of course, sure. you have like two moves and knives. Yeah. But. Yeah, I got two jump kicks and some punches. <laughs> but it would be cool in Smash Brothers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Smash Brothers. Like perfect. Peach, how she pulls out the, the golf club from Mario Golf and like the turnips. Yeah, you can pull shit. out a barrel or a box and throw it at you. Yeah, then... boxes, barrels. You know, obviously knives, whips, crates. Oh my! Yeah, they'd have to, they'd have some problems figuring out their moves. I think probably it's it not like... punch, kick, twirly kick. But you know, <laughs> I have to imagine you, they're more. That's all fucking Mario has. He had a fireball. Yeah. Well, he did get an uppercut. He doesn't have an uppercut in any games that I can think of. I, I it's still it has to be more clamor for than Mars. Yeah. Why? Why Fire Emblem? Which I love Fire Emblem. It's right? a good it game, great, but yeah. why? It is well, Mr. Game and Watch. 
I mean, I well, know somebody that's listens. the birth yeah, of Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. But we Fit Girl especially. Yeah, we Fit Girl. I'd rather play Billy and Jimmy. Oh, yeah. And they could do it like the Ice Climbers. Yeah. With Billy and Jimmy. That's you know true. I mean? That'd be pretty powerful. Yeah, it would. Be too much man. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be OP. One, one, of, one of them punches, one of them kicks. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's it. You could do like a headband whip or something like that. You know, I don't know. That jean jacket's powerful. <laughs> that little vest they wear. You know, I have a song stuck in my head, and it's not from. It's not from Devo. It's not from fucking. Tell me what this is. Oh, it's Double Dragon. Is that Double Dragon? Yeah. Okay. That's the stage music. Okay, that's what's stuck in my head. I, it makes sense now that that's fucking what we're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's good. That's like da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Double Dragon, man. Okay. All right. So I'm not stupid. No. That's yeah, a good game. You are, but... I like that game. I like talking about that game. That's a game that everybody should have played. Yeah. Should go back and play. It's not deep enough to really have a 20-minute conversation on. We did. Did we? Yeah. We didn't talk for 20 minutes, did we? Oh, I'll be damned. It is deep enough to have a 20-minute conversation on. It's the history of beat-em-ups. It is the history of beat-em-ups. It's the inception. The f- we need the- a kick. <laughs> we need to go, we need deeper. A kick deeper. <laughs> God damn. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the podcast. The episode is over. Eat a dick. I win. I'll bring the retro game. Yep. Andrew got one point again. I did get one point again. <laughs> Honestly, and I shouldn't have got one welcome point. Back. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. I have one point. I should I should have got zero points because I would have had a better chance of winning. If you got zero points, we would have tied. tied. Yep. You motherfucker. That's right. I should have just... Well, you cost him a, a chance at a win and yourself a chance to win. You're selfish. But you know what? I had to be competitive. I had to do it. There'll be a later game where I say, fuck it, and just throw it. Not gonna I'll lie. show you this text message. He goes, hey, I'm going to let you win tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Fucking conspiring against me. Yeah, I get it. I, you know, I understand. All right, guys. So we will see you next time. Uh, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us on the Game Guys on Podcast. Later. Deuces. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week on the Gamegasm Podcast.